Walking down the street, little midget. Picking up his midget feet, little midget. Can't drive, so he takes the bus. <laughs> Look at that midget. Yeah, he thinks he's one of us. Singing e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e don't think that restaurant has boots to see, it's a little midget. What are you gonna do, little midget? It's not your fault that God hates you. title is true. Cyrax has been engaging in some very deviant and degenerate sexual activity. How has this come to my attention? Well, Tyler and Y was doing his weekly hackings, and he discovered in Chance's inbox a message exchange between him and somebody named Martina, Martina666, so I can assure you it's not me. I don't know if they want responsibility for this. I can understand why they probably wouldn't. But nevertheless, um, it seems that this person, this woman, has a dark, deep sexual desire to eat out Chance's asshole and to eat the candy out of his asshole, the shit out of his asshole. Uh, she wanted him to spread open... So she could eat the Snickers out of there. Tyler and Y. This is why he's getting a full ride, a full scholarship to hacking school. Wait, isn't Cyrax dating Tangerine Cat? Well, that's what I thought. I don't know if, if they have an open relationship. Oh, wow. Melton John. Melton John. Yeah, well, perhaps, but... I know you're very opposed to Cyrax nudity, so I'm going to ask you to shield your eyes. Um, I'm going to show you a text exchange between the two of them. Absent the picture, just the, the text exchange between the two of them, and then I'm going to link an Instagram page with the picture of Cyrax spread open uh, for this woman to eat Snickers out of his asshole. Oh, my God. Reading it again, it just shows how depraved it is. But, all right, let me, let me zoom up here. Show me a picture of your asshole, baby. I want to lick some candy out of there. Now, this is the picture of Cyrax's ass at full exposure. Mmm. And then he wants to see her asshole. You want to see the asshole that he'll be pounding the shit out of tonight. Um, and you can see her comment here. Tongues your ass, looking for the Snickers. Mm. So let me, let me now pull up this picture here 
and post in the chat for all to see. All right, so we're gonna we're now gonna link this. Um, here we go. Okay, and here we will have his picture of his Snickers dinner plate. Here you go. One second. One second. One second. Now take a look at this. It's not for the faint of heart. What fresh hell is this? Well, I'll tell you. I'll tell you what it is. Cyrax wants Martina to eat the candy out of his asshole, to lick the shit out of his asshole. You're telling me, Ace Baz. You're telling me this is some sick stuff. Link is broken? Okay, sure. Well, let me try again. Let me try again here. Or you know what I'm even going to do? Um, I'm going to post the picture of it in the um, Scarface, Scarface Shadowborn exclusive release Discord, and then uh, I'm just going to invite all of you guys in there. If you want to see the picture, you got to get in the Discord. Uh, that is also where we're giving away Cyrax's new album for free. So anyone who wants to see his asshole for free will also have the opportunity to download his new album. So, I mean, it's a, it's an exciting two-for-one right there. I'm going to lure you in with the, with the asshole pictures, and then I'm going to give you Cyrax's album for free. You know, so it's just a double whammy right here. It's not just I, – I mean, Mountain John, I don't, I don't know about this, man. If, uh, I'm, I'm not sure if you're busy. I'm not sure if you have any commentary on that. If, if, if so, I understand. But um, I'm not aware of this as an ongoing trend. Um, to me, the thought of subjecting a woman to eating the shit out of your ass. The disgusting thing is that he's talking about the Snickers. Um, so – there's a little bit of nut in there too. And it's just a terrible image. and It's just so graphic and disgusting. Crypt. Okay. Okay. Crypt. I mean, all right, Crypt. Mr. Stanley, sir. Good evening. You. How are you tonight? Not bad, Bruce. What's going on? Um, well, Cyrax wanted a woman to uh, tongue the but shit bro, You know that's not a woman, though. You know that's not a woman. I don't know that it's not a woman. So basically, somebody hit him up and catfished him and said, hey, I like to eat ass, and then he sent a picture of an ass. Well, here's what you're not understanding, is that Cyrax is a rock star, and he attracts multiple women of alternative yeah, you're life. Being sarcastic. You're being I'm, sarcastic. I'm being straight up with you. I'm being straight up no, with you. You're being sarcastic. You're now, being I sarcastic. Am, I am, I, I, listen, I think, okay, how can I help you? So Charlie's a 337 and no champion, right? Yes. You know, so, right. So you're being sarcastic. Well, yeah, I'm not sure what Charlie's own off has to do with this. Well, no, I'm just saying, like, for you to say that uh, listen, uh, listen, listen. An, exchange, an exchange was presented to me. To be honest, um, looking at this picture, it doesn't necessarily seem to even be a woman. It kind of looks like a transgendered person. So I think that point falls flat right there. Um, it could be a man. I think it is a man upon further examination. I think you're right. So what what is your objection tonight? Is that Somebody out there sends him a picture and says, oh, I'm a girl. Uh, I love you. I'm into butt stuff. So that, yeah. you know, they send him pictures and say, oh, I'm this girl. I'm, I look like this and say, I'm well, into let me, butt let me, stuff. Let me get a closer up picture of this person. Like, um, I would agree. I, this could just be a deranged uh, transgendered person, to be honest. Let me. That, uh, right, you don't up know this person knows, so you're speaking. Uh, well, you're, right. that, you're, no, I, you're right. No, I don't know this right? person at all, but I do know exactly. that uh, apparently Cyrax wants them to tongue the Snickers out of his asshole. 
Right, because he got catfished and because he's Look, on well, some yeah. That very well could be that very well could be the case, but nevertheless, to engage in this depraved behavior is pretty disturbing. Wouldn't you agree? Oh, I don't, bro. If me or you sent somebody a picture of they asshole, bro, I would look at you and kind of say, "Dog, what you doing?" But oh shit, people want somebody... people will, I got people. Here, one second, I got to uh, link this. I guess no, people you... are like, questioning the veracity, and you can see it for yourself. I mean, I, I don't know if you feel maybe the argument could be made that it's not even Cyrax. Oh, no, I don't – I mean, even if it is Irax, and, bro, like uh, what happened last time where I talked to you and then you put people up on here who tried to say that I'm wrong, if there's people in the background who want to argue with me, bro, let them up. Oh, no, listen, I would, love to, I would love to argue with you. You're saying that uh, Charlie Zelnoff is deserving of, I don't know, shenanigans and tomfoolery, but Cyrax isn't. No, Why do you say at, that? At, at, at this point, I – I'm not saying Charlie is deserving of it, but when he but he definitely people, engaged in a, but he definitely engaged in a long lengthy campaign of trolling him. So what makes Charlie deserve it and Cyrax not deserve it? So I say this, and it's hard for me really to debate what I'm going to say because uh, of what I will say. The well, things say that I've done, the things that I have quote unquote done to Charlie, has become their own. Uh, like an amenity to where if somebody does something to Charlie, it gets fold or it gets put under the Stanley did it context. Okay, you know? so essentially you're a victim of people using your name of when you used to troll them. I'm, I feel so sorry for you. Well, no, What's, I'm not saying feel sorry for him yeah, or so nothing like that. Get back, get back to the question at hand. What makes Charlie Zolnoff deserving of trolling, but Cyrax not? Oh, bro, you can clearly see... I, like I've said before, it is a clear difference between Charlie and Cyrax, bro. Elaborate. <laughs> so, name me the last time Charlie sent a picture of his asshole to somebody. Well, well Charlie did engage in sexual relations with a transgendered person uh, filmed unbeknownst to them. That's so, not true. That's not true. That's not what was true. That person, what was that person's name? Oh, Camila might be the last transgender person well, yeah, but he, he, that he was with. He, he, he audio recorded his sex with a transsexual prostitute. Uh, right. unbeknownst to them. So I'm just saying that it seems like both of them have their own transgendered uh, fixations. So right. Make, so make the, point. Point. make the point. My whole point is that when somebody hits Charlie up or... Cyrax up under a fake catfish name and says, oh, I'm a girl. I love you. I'm into butt stuff. Well, it seems like Cyrax is a willing participant. Exactly. Because That's he doesn't know no that. better. He does not know any better, bro. Well, uh, I would say that he's just a horny little freak um, who... Uh, is depraved. Yeah. Yeah, so that's that. I mean. So then when you come on here, but you, so let's not condone what the other people do, but well, let's, let's condone you, let's what, talk what you, then let's, talk about, let's talk about what you've done to Charlie Zolnoff then. Yeah, okay, I get Listen, it. Listen, if, if it was anybody else, you'd have a point, but given your history, it falls flat, man, unless you can distinguish between Charlie and Cyrax. Because Charlie falls for catfish all the time, too. So he doesn't know better either. Okay. So what is your point? Ask anybody who knows Charlie, bro. Charlie not falling for catfish like that, bro. He he grasps the reality between people on the internet who set dude, him up. Dude, dude, how many times has he talked with promoters? You know, he's met up with people at hotels to sign boxing contracts before. So stop it. Every single one of those times, and again, like I've said, uh, how many times has Charlie really been bamboozled? Yeah. More times than either one else can count. So, come on. I didn't mean to cut you off, bro. Go ahead. No. Um. So uh, the difference is nothing because they both fall for these elaborate plans and trolls. Remember when he thought he was going to make a video game? Remember when he thought he was going to make a movie? You know, he also has these same delusions. They're they're you needed 
watch more Cyrax because they are one and the same. If you replace okay. boxing with rapping, Cyrax and Charlie Selenoff are the same. What you're kind of getting at is that Charlie did believe, but Cyrax still does believe, you know. And then, well, Charlie, then, then, then I guess that it's probably going to take a little bit of time for Cyrax. Fuck, well, then, then, yeah, then, then Cyrax. Um, I didn't mean to cut probably, you off, dude. That's fine. Cyrax will probably learn in time. Um, but yeah, I, I really, if it was anybody else, I'd understand your moral crusade. But since I know he's done the Charlie, I can't really take your grandstanding here, your moral grandstanding. Right. So what I've done to Charlie pretty much negates anything that I've done or tried yes. to stick up for with Cyrax. But if somebody well, he, else said it, what would your response be? Let's say somebody who has never talked to Charlie or... Okay, well, I'll say this. I'll say this. I'll say this. Do you... Okay. Do you I mean, I, I remember you used to go by the rap name Rick Robinson. No, nah, bro. My actual, like, uh, you know, old school, quote unquote, rap name was uh, Trendsetter Nick. But I haven't really rapped since, like, 2010. Okay. I remember you pushing a little bit of the Rick Robinson thing uh, in the... I think it was, like, 2015. Um, so, I mean... Say that you were. Yeah, you've been along for a while, though, yeah. Uh, yeah, I guess so. I guess so. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So it's been a while. It's been a while. Um, yeah, yeah. As I previously told you, uh, I was the reason that Charlie put the security thing outside of his ho house. Um, he was just bombarded <laughs> constantly with uh, transsexual prostitutes. Um, you know, ain't it like a thousand people who claim in the same thing though? Like, I don't really that care. That makes me. That kind of makes it seem like. You just want to be known for doing that. Uh, I mean, definitely. Would you want to make a wager on that? A wager on what? That you want to be known for it or that you did it? No, no, no. no. Listen, if I wanted to be known for it, I would talk about it all the time. These people, I'm only using it as a connection because I remember as Rick Robinson. Um, so how else would I know that? No, I'm talking about how you say. Regardless, that. regardless, you know, most of these people are, are they're not interested in Get Charlie Zolnoff. Um, yeah, yeah, I mean, subject, I guess. go ahead, go ahead. Um, uh, it's, it, what is so your difference is that uh, Charlie is very savvy and swift, and he doesn't fall for ploys, and that's the difference between him and Cyrax. No, my main point is that Charlie is a guy who's been coddled by his parents and been told that what he's doing is not wrong and that, you know, if he wants to be a boxer, what he's doing is right because... Well, uh, th that's the same thing with Cyrax. Sorry, fuck, his I'm sorry. Yeah. It's, 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 it didn't well, mean to cut you off. Sure, his, sorry, it, fuck, it, man. Whatever, it's fine. His grandmother purchases all of his music equipment. So she's also encouraging Cyrax, so they're the one and the same. Well, just gonna let you talk. No, I didn't mean to cut you off like you've done me. I'm sorry, man. Go ahead. Oh, yeah, whatever. You know, so you're saying your next point is that they're different because Charlie's parents encouraged him to be a boxer, and that's the way he is. Sally pays for all of his music equipment. So, how is that any different? Okay, well, yeah, if you're actually, actually not gonna respond to questions, I'll just there's no point in even having it here. Do you have anything to say? Well, I can respond to that by saying that you can look at the way and the things and the way that people like Cyrax responds to shit going on and things that get tossed to him and then look at the way that Charlie responds to that. Well, they both get on, on, on live streams and oh, shout and holler and threat. Girl, fuck, man. They both oh, shut the fuck up, dude. Shut the fuck up. I'm, 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 I'm <laughs> well, bro, you just you I'm say you want me to talk, I'm, but then I'm, you cut me off, I'm though. Because I'm negate because I, I know what you're saying, and I'm going to negate your entire point. Why that, bro? I'm going to negate your entire point because you're frustrating. You don't know what you're talking about. Um, well, bro, but, I'm letting you talk. Okay. okay. The difference between I literally just let you yeah. talk. Okay, you're saying, but. I'm addressing your statement here. So I let you talk for fucking the whole time. 
Okay, well, I'm I'm uh, taking a point by point. You're saying that they're different so because when they, I talk, so, no, I'm I'm, I'm explaining it. Uh, no, I'm explaining it to you right here. It's unfortunate that I have to mute. I got muted, people. I got muted. Okay, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Pointless. I mean, this is completely pointless. <laughs> uh, congratula no, congratulations. Uh, your, your points fall flat completely. Um, yeah, this is childish. This is childish. I mean, I'm going to give you two minutes to conduct childish. yourself. Hold on, bro. Childish, like when you said that, oh, the main reason why I hate Cyrax is because he asked for pictures of my dead girlfriend. But then your proof of that was him asking for a picture of a girl and you saying, sure. Well, yeah, of course. I was responding to him by trolling him. You can disagree with that. I don't really care your opinion on it. Everyone here right. understands it for you. <laughs> right, because they're on your side. So well, that's my whole point. People who are with you, well, well, it's well, nothing that I can one say. Let me, no, listen, no, no, you're talking over me here. Um, Go ahead. Because all these people know Cyrax and you don't. It's not that they agree with me. It's that they all hate Cyrax for valid reasons. Hello? I just don't want to talk over you. I'm sorry, bro. All right, dude. This is fucking gay. Um, right. But, I mean, you said yeah. that if I don't say anything, it's going to get cut off. But if I do say anything over you, that that means well, no, that. It's, it's okay. I'm, we're, we're going point by point on how – let's focus here uh, on why Charlie Zolnoff and Cyrax are I different. You're saying that they point. react so, – that, well, that, right. that's the discussion. That's the discussion. If you don't want to engage in it, fine. I don't really continue. I'm trying to discuss it, though. I didn't hear right. you. Well, you're saying so that they're funny. different. Your last claim was you're saying that they were different because Charlie. Yes. Okay, well, so you see where I'm going, that they react the same way when confronted. I, I don't think they react the same way. What's the difference? Charlie reacts in a violent, I'm going to go and hit some random person until it gets me in jail. So I'm, I'm going to go to a gym and punch somebody to prove that I'm the best fighter in the world. Cyrax responds with, I'm going to make music or go on a racing game. Completely to false. Prove. Completely yeah. false. He threatens to murder me constantly. He threatens to put bullets between people's eyes. Um, it is. Well, hang on, hang on. Because do you know the history with his grandma and the time he assaulted her? Uh, I know what people have said that he's done, and I know what people have uh, said that he's went to jail for, quote unquote. But I've so never you think seen that's why. He said it himself, so you think he's lying about that? Oh, I have no actual visual, like court proof that he went to jail for assaulting his grandma. Okay, so if I was able to provide that for you, would you admit that you're off base? If you were able to provide that to me, I would look at it and kind of question it. But after the other day where you showed me some shit that when you said, oh, he okay. asked for pictures. Of okay, my bad. Didn't mean to cut you off. Go ahead. Uh, well, no, I, I see where you're going with that. But if uh, – staying on topic here. If Cyrax himself said that his grandmother – I was he answering said, that. Okay. I was answering that. So, but you but I'm saying off. if they came out of Cyrax's mouth in his own words – what difference would it make if, if he said it himself? Just let me know when I can respond, man. My bad. I didn't yeah, mean to sure. sure. Sure, 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 sure. Go for it, if, Stanley. If Cyraxis came out his mouth and said that he punched his grandma and that he knocked her out or whatever – I would look at that and I would uh, take it in my own opinion and then evaluate it. But I would okay. love to know the, the events that led up to that. Um, sure. What if he choked his ex-girlfriend, Heather, and so that he blacked out and woke up with his hands around her neck? Okay. Uh, out of all these things that you've said, is it any, like, really proof or just somebody who – is saying that he did it to him. It's it's Cyrax saying it himself. Okay. Can you please show me that in the background of um you know um, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. He took Some, the girl out. 
yeah, if somebody can link it to me, uh, I, I would absolutely love to. Um, I don't have it on hand, but absolutely. Uh, way down below, where, where is it? Where is it? I, I mean, I don't have it on hand. Oh, no, bro. It's like 60 people in here who agree with you, bro, so it's going to be quick. Because well, everyone's – sure, right, 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 right. I mean, I don't know why you're – dude, you're going to feel like an idiot for white knighting for this guy. I'm not white knighting for a guy, bro, but what I'm saying is that <laughs> – if you come out here and say that he's done this with no, yeah, dude, you, you have you don't know Cyrax. I didn't mean to cut you off. Fuck, You're, man. Shut the fuck up, dude. You don't know Cyrax. I'm already explaining yeah. to you. You're Sorry. unaware. Oh fuck! Dude. I didn't mean to cut you off. I mean, yeah, I mean, I could probably just trolling, but you're you're completely. I'm not trolling, bro. You have to be. You absolutely have to be, or you're a fucking idiot. I'm not trolling. I'm not being an idiot. All I'm what all I'm saying is that it's a reaction to an action response. And that's what all of this comes down to. Sure, here one second. Okay, play the clip because I just heard a little sound clip get played but got cut off. Just play the video, bro, because it was I just heard a fucking video clip. Yeah, hang on. Let me check my Discord, too. No, you're, it's no need to check it, bro. The video's already right there. Just play it, man. Well, there's an incident with... Okay. I'll wait till this video is played, and I'll give my response. Stanley are can and cam time are equally slow. Kick him. The Stanley guy is on Cyrax level. So old Marty on kick Stanley from another guy. Stanley sounds like cam time from another guy. Nuclear faggot. I just don't know what the fuck this kid is talking about. He's probably up Cyrax. He's probably upset Cyrax won't date him. I agree with myself. I ain't no sheep. No, no, no. I know about that dro. I guess you meant to spell bro. Absolutely are. I'm here for the Discord. If you mod me, I'll link what I can find on the spot. I just got the note on my phone. This is... Yeah, I don't know. Okay, one second. Here. I'm sure he'll change his stance once he sees the shit that Cyrax has done. Not going to speak on what. Well, there. Yep, still here, bro. Yep. Yep. Still here, bro. Fucking lie. I'm still here, man. I'm still here, bro. I Still here, man. Just... Who cares about this kid's opinion anyway? He's just some simp that clearly needs people like Cyrax to feel some sympathetic for. Because his own life is worthless. She's kind of on. 
It's your show now, Squiggly Stanley. Check out the new content on my channel. Oh, shit, it's the Stanley stage. Marty is messing up. Yeah, man. Porn bomb now, Stanley. Bro, I only porn bomb people like Dream. Because Dream's a fucking loser, too. I'm just still... I'm not going to change my uh, view on this dude, Cyrax, man. I don't want to porn bomb this dude because I want to be shown some proof. Stanley, do you erase? No. You have the power now, Stan. Show some midget porn. <laughs> Show b-hole. Dream, question mark. Sure. Oh, man. Here we go. I'm just... Still kind of waiting on a video I can get shown. Stanley, how do you feel about Snickers candy bars? Them bitches with the almonds, bro, they pretty much good. Uh, Stanley, are you a SoundCloud rapper? Nah, bro, I rapped back in the day. And from time to time, I still do it, and I'm not tripping about it. It was Flavor Aid. Was that when he... Wait... Attacked his mother. I'm still waiting on any type of. Proof that that happened. Go watch all the CGC videos. Yeah, I've done that. And it just looks like people who troll him, but then not expect a reaction back. Like you're going to troll a guy in. Say shit like, oh, baby, I love you, and catfish him from a girl page and say, I'm in the b-hole stuff. Send me a picture of your b-hole. And then not expect somebody like Cyrax to send you a picture of that. You know, kind of makes sense, though, right? You kind of sound like your family owns a chain of 7-Elevens. All right. All right. There we go. Um, oh, there we All right. We're back. I didn't have to read chat. <laughs> Just play the video, bro. I, it's fine. You're, yeah, you're doing one of two things. You're either trolling, which is fine, you know, ha, 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 ha. Or you got to be a video. fucking idiot. Um, play, the video. One... play the video. 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 How about him be being a... You call myself a faggot. I'm not talking about your family. I'm saying that he said his brother's dead every time I talk to you guys. The day he died. So what is it, Heather? Because you tell us... Uh, yeah, Marty. Uh, he, he, you know, I think this guy doesn't know anything about Cyrax. Oh, and I know that guy's remake. Let me listen to the video, bro. Sure. Like, you're, like, you're an asshole and an internet boy. Uh, just... Rick Robinson, got to ask you, how would you feel about Cyrax calling uh, the police? Um, Can we listen to the video where he threatened his grandma? Well, the, the video of him beating his grandma, it's, 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 it would be hard to find. Um, oh, my God. You just said you would play it. But then you played it, but then you, you know, this is the wrong, this is the wrong, this is the wrong video. Calm down. Oh, Calm yeah. yeah. Well, can we play the video? Because you said uh, that you he, found it and you played the video. So easily, and he's getting heated. Uh, well, all right, so let this guy talk then because the video won't get played. Go ahead, bro. Uh, you were the biggest faggot in the world. I would compare <laughs> you to Cam Time, Cyrax, uh, possibly Young Fox. Uh, you know, I just find you really irritating. You know, you claim that you know Cyrax for a long time, yet you don't know that he admitted to choking out his own grandmother, threatening to like put bullets between the eyes of plenty Show of me people. That video. I mean, Show if me you know video. Cyrax so well, I mean, you you would have seen nearly at least half of his live streams. Because half of his live streams, he's threatening to murder people. Okay, just. Stand yeah, no, I'm 
About me abusing you, bitch. I never fucking abused you. Does he sound like somebody who would abuse him? That's fine. Listen, that's fine, Mr. Stanley. I guess this is the type of way. Well, what was the. Ca- well, oh, shit, this, man. This, I'm sorry. You, you this asked is the this, question and answered it within two seconds. Well, sure, sure. yeah. Well, well, let me. This I'm. I'm supposing that you stand by this behavior and you endorse this. And there's no way this guy could be abusive, right? Oh, I'm, bro. It's a way that anybody can be abusive. Is this how? You, do you talk to women like this? Do you just put your hands on women's necks? So Cyrax put his hands around a woman's neck in that video because of what? That's what he's in. Uh, that's what he's admitting to. So, because it was crackling up, what do you think he said? He said, "You think I abused you, bitch? I never fucking abused you." But he's also admitted in other videos, which I will find. Bear with me. Well, so you just uh, yeah, uh, it's, it's, it's it's within the Cyrax Let archive. So, all right, one second. Let me. Do you do you have it on? No, hand? no, no. Let this guy talk. Let this guy talk. Let this uh, guy, my, other guy talk. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, Shut up for a minute. Uh, so these videos are within the Cyrex archive. Uh, there are plenty of them. You will find them. Uh, it's all over the place. There's one, like, right after Heather broke up with him, he's just sitting there saying how, like, I attacked you one time. I put my hands around your throat like this, and I even squeezed that hard. And, uh, you know, the list goes on and on and on, and I'm surprised that since you know Cyrex for so long, you, w- you wouldn't have known any of this. Amazingly, he has an opinion without knowing any... Exactly. I mean, Stanley, I mean, you just don't know what, what you're talking about. You know, plain and simple. I'm just going to let you guys talk. No, you I'm fine. Fine. I'm to yeah. talk. You're annoying to bear with anyway. Yeah. No, I get it. I understand. You're, I mean, like, the only time when you're, when you're able to talk is when you can actually... Uh, uh, defend Cyrax correctly without going off of speculation. Oh, no, bro. What I can uh, defend Cyrax with is that video shows nothing. And even this dude in the back said that, oh, he said that I'll choke you, blah, blah, blah. But that shows that he's choked her before. I I don't see how that. Uh, there's also a, a a criminal record of Cyrax where uh, where he did end up going to jail for choking out his grandmother. Show me it, dude. I, listen, I didn't know you were gonna come on here and, and be a fucking idiot. Uh, otherwise, I would have definitely had it prepared for you. How about this? How about this? Ask it's me not having it prepared. It have. should be easy to find, though, right? Like... Uh, unfortunately, unfortunately, it's not because there are plenty of videos explaining this. Um, Oh, you know, man. it's either on the archive channel. Show below, me one. Fucking... It's plenty of videos. Show me one. All right, Marty, I'm uh, I'm gonna go get a video right now. Actually, yeah, link, yeah, link. Uh, it's it gonna I'm, be I'm, the same video. Hey, hey, uh, buddy in the back, buddy in the back. Oh, I have no idea who your name is. Okay. Uh, when, when you hear shit like, "Hey, it was a girl who I know who died," but Cyrax. Uh, it's uh, called sarcasm. Okay. You don't know what sarcasm is? I'm sorry. No, I'm this guy's a fucking idiot. He's, he's oh, legit. I didn't uh, mean to cut you off. He oh. is literally the largest retard. <laughs> it's unbelievable. I didn't mean If you're going to White Knight for Cyrax, do it correctly and have the proper information to do so. Otherwise, we're just going to shut you down every time like we have been. Yeah, and just speak over me and... You know. So, see how... 
Jamie wants to go live, and a certain bitch named Heather, aka my now ex, wants to stick her right in her fucking mouth about me abusing her. Here's the motherfucking truth. Y'all want the truth, right? Well, here you fucking go. I never laid a hand on Heather. I blacked out one time and hurt her and made up for shit. I apologized to her and I made up for that. So, Heather. Stanley, floor is yours. He also, in the first time, said, I never laid hands on her. But then he says, I blacked out one time and. and uh, apologized. Yeah, well, there's another video, actually, where he says how he put his hands around her throat. Okay, so. So, play it that video right out of the Stanley, Stanley, how, how many. You guys how, are like, contradicting yourself. You guys are no, contradicting. Dude, you're being a fucking idiot. Made up for shit on Heather. I blacked out one time and hurt her. No, nope. play it back yeah, 10 hurt, seconds hurt. earlier. Play it back 10 <laughs> seconds earlier when he said, I never but put hands on her. Then he himself immediately thereafter. Okay. Well, put it back 10 seconds earlier when he said, fine, I never fine, put hands on her. Fine, Stanley. You don't want the truth, right? Well, here you fucking go. I a never man. laid a hand on Heather. Play I that part. Play that part ten Heather. seconds over and over. Okay. Up, man. So then, the then, then what does he say? So which part do you believe? What do you believe, Stanley? Oh, I believe that I don't know what happened. But well, when you hear let's be, let's be, let's be, let's I'm sorry. Be, I'm sorry. I didn't, okay. Answer my question. Did you want to my part was, was, or did you just answer my question. Me? What do you oh, believe? Oh. Dude. I believe that I don't know anything. Exactly. Well, okay. that's exactly your point. You don't know anything. Yeah, and well, you see this man here waving his finger and calling her a fucking bitch, uh, and, and all these names. Which do you think is more likely, Stanley? I'll, I'll find the video right I now. I don't know anything. Down. But when you hear him say in the same two second, five second timeline that I didn't lay hands on her, but I did black out and do something. So him saying that he blacked out but remembered something. But Stanley, means here's, something. here's okay. the thing, Stanley. Didn't mean to cut you off, bro. Go ahead. You're 26. You, you said I'm going to be quiet so for sorry. the next 30, 30 minutes. I bro. I'll let you off. I understand bro. what you're – shut the fuck up. I understand what you're saying. Yeah. That he said two different things. Thanks, well, I would say the man who – Shut the fuck up. He's the man who's waving his finger aggressively and calling her a fucking bitch and screaming and frothing at the mouth. But that is more consistent with somebody who is blacked out. And I would say that him, I never abused you. What would he be apologizing for, Stanley, if he didn't abuse her? And I'm finished, Stanley. So say something relevant or pertinent, please. I'll let this other guy talk then too. No, long. Stanley, no, Stanley. No, 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 no. You're on the spot here, Stanley. Mari, um, I just found the video. All right, fine. Stanley, let's, let's let Stanley address this, though, because he's looking All right. dumb and by the moment. I'm just, yeah, Stanley, I mean, look, I'm sorry to interrupt you, bro. Go ahead. Which I'll, so I'll, I'll say it again. Oh, fuck. Yeah, okay. Yep. You were quiet, but I'll say it again. I'll say it again. Which do you think is more consistent with a violent, aggressive person? You say uh, that you'd let me talk. Him but then you say, you know, yeah, go wait, ahead, wait, Stanley. Go ahead. Oh, Go ahead. Fuck. Which do you think is more likely, Stanley? That is the question. Oh, I believe that what he's saying, I really can't truly believe any of it. All right. So even when he's admitting to hitting Heather, uh, hurting her, uh, you still don't believe it. Marty, uh, there was the video where he said that like, he put his hands around her throat. Uh, so I got it right there. You hey, Marty. Yep. All right. And you're a faggot. Yep. So... Yeah, you're going. <laughs> so, so what would it take for you? You asked for Star X in his own words, saying that he choked her and hit her and hurt her. I want video. Is that not enough for you? Me. What do you need? Like video of it? So, so Stanley, there there aren't any videos of him choking her because there's no surveillance cameras in his house, and Heather is being choked, so she couldn't film it. So, I'm not going to be able to provide that for you. What else do you need to convince you of what actually happened? All right. It's been three seconds, so I figure I can talk now. Uh, what I would like is an unbiased opinion of somebody showing me a video that says in the same 20 second time span that I never put hands on her, 
but I blacked out and I All right, well, there is another video like that. I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry. Didn't mean to cut you off, uh, Yeah, I, I mean, like, you should be sorry uh, uh, for being a faggot. I'm, not sorry. Oh, I'm, sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to cut you off. No, sir. No. I'm addressing your claim, and I'm debunking it. Dude, 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 dude. Oh, no, this, I, didn't, this, I didn't mean to cut anybody off, though. Why oh, are you keep interrupting me? I'm asking, what, what do you need to convince you that this happened? Is Cyrax's own word enough? What reason would his girlfriend have to make this up when she was already split up from him? Well, is Cyrax's word I blacked word out enough? one time and heard her and made up for shit. I have Play the 10 that. seconds before that. Play the 10 seconds before I that. Out one time and her. Play the 10 I seconds before that I have before her. I get cut off. I have blacked out one time and her. Play the no. 10 seconds before that. Yeah, but he says that, and then oh. he has to. Okay. But okay. he also says other okay. things. Uh, sure, absolutely. He also sure. says other things. I never lay a hand. What reason would he have to make this up? <laughs> well, what reason does he have to say that he never laid a hand on Are it? you going to play this way? But then wait, yeah. Are you going to play the same game? I'll tell you why. It's illegal. It's a crime. No, I'm answering your question. You ask me a question, I'm answering it. You ask me a question, I'm answering it. So shut the fuck up. The reason you have (laughs) to deny it is because it's illegal and it makes him look like a piece of shit. Dude, you're an idiot. That's the answer. Does that satisfy you? Well... I guess it satisfies you, well, though, yeah. Not sure if, if, you're not sure what. I didn't hear it. No, I yeah, boy, we show him evidence um, that he did admit there well, was I mean, uh, hurting other. I'm sorry, man. But, Fuck, man. Um, I mean, I'm sorry. That I, need, um, I didn't mean to cut you off, Stanley, bro. Right, sorry. Here's, here's, another one, Stanley. here's another one, Stanley. Okay. So, I mean, I'm glad you defend this sort of stuff. It's just really amazing to me. I'm not defending it. Let's say that he really did put hands on a girl or, you know, choke her. Which or... he has admitted to. Okay. Well, is that the same video yeah. that, you know, he just showed me? Or is that uh, some shit that you oh, No. Fuck, I'm sorry. Uh, okay, fuck. I just have another picture on my phone. Yes. So, but, yeah, I mean, if you really want to observe no, your, hey, so shut hey, your fucking mouth while he's talking video, so you can let listen. The video play, let the video play, let the video play. Let the video play. Let the evidence show. Well, yeah, well, uh, he's the host up, and you're dude. the guy. I don't know if Let the video riddle play. It. Show the evidence. Uh, show, the evidence. Show, the evidence. show the evidence. Show the evidence. Show the evidence. Show the evidence. I'm trying to. Show the trying evidence. To you shut the fuck show up. Show the evidence. Dude, I'm giving you, you know, you got to comply here. You got to comply here. You got to comply show here. The show the evidence. Shut the fuck up. Listen. Show the evidence. Bitch, that's a show fucking it. lie. Dude, that's what, dude, 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 you're a fuck. This is why you like Cyrax. It's clear you, you, you have the same IQ. Sure. Well, Show the evidence. Dude, you know, honestly, because I remember Rick Robinson, this guy, this guy was a rapper too. They're both deluded, failed rappers well, who live in their mother's basement. So I think that's why they probably got it. It's so right. easy to fucking represent it. Why are you dude, cutting I'm, me I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to explain it to people. If well, it's because yeah, you I were coming off the shield of thing before, he's, he's, I'm trying to I'm explain wrong. to you. I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to, dude, dude, I'm trying, listen, you keep, I'm, I'm trying, Stanley, I'm trying to explain to people the only possible reason they could be defending Cyrax. That, that's, that's all I'm doing. And you keep interrupting the film. I'm going to play it, Stanley. I'm not going to talk. Tyler's not going to talk. And, and that's going to be that. All right. Can you handle that? Great. I'd let y'all talk. Play it. If I didn't love you, why would I get out and sit to help you get in the back? Dude, 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 that's what I'm fucking doing. Stanley, I'm going to remove you all this place because oh you can't handle God. this. Just... What an idiot. Francesca, oh my. If I didn't love you, why would I sit there and do all the shit that I fucking did for you? You're an ungrateful little fucking bitch. Everything that we've been through. If I didn't fucking love you. If I didn't love you. Why would I be sitting there fighting for you? 
If I don't love you, why don't I sit there and claim your kids as my own and give them a second chance at having a dad? If I didn't love you, why did I spend all that money on getting presents for the kids for Christmas and their birthdays? If I didn't love you, why would I support you on you going back to college and doing what you want to do with your life, huh? You are a bullshit fucking liar, Heather. I do love you. If anybody doesn't love anyone, you're the one that never loved me. You hey, Stan, I, I, almost, I almost got a better idea here. Um, since everybody already knows this stuff, I'm going to like compile and put playlists for you. Play the part where he's a bad guy. Play the part where he's a bad guy. I'm hearing nothing bad so far. You just grabbed your fucking clothes and ran out the fucking door like a coward. You're a pussy ass coward for running like you did. And you say, I don't love you, bitch. Grow the fuck up. You're the one that never fucking loved me. You know the timestamp, Tyler? Uh, uh, yes, it's, um, I, I think it's coming up right now. It's funny, Heather. You know what's real I'm funny stupid. about you? You never used to be like this. Uh, the day Stanley, Michael Stanley, I, Stanley, I don't know the time stamp changing. here. Uh, Stanley, this is the evidence within the video. If you're patient enough, just wait for it, please. Yeah, well, listen, listen. Um, what was that? Ew. I just, so, ew. I didn't hear you, this, you you one, one, one woman that tried to off has ever tried. You did a total 180 from who you wait, were. Yep, yep. You just played that and then asked me a question. You said name one lady that... What I want to know... Okay. You play is why the fuck are you being a pussy-ass bitch yeah. and running like a fucking coward? <laughs> and going Stanley, here's the, per here's, here's the pertinent part so far. Uh, and uh, it, sucks. it sucks that I have to like remove this guy because he can't stop making noises. Um, the reason that Heather had to, to flee... Was because Cyrax had choked her when she talked about leaving before and even just leaving the house. He needs to yeah. come back like yeah. muttering like a fucking retard. And it's it's and really. I got like 10 more minutes of this guy. Um, what I'll probably do is compile a playlist uh, for him to watch because, I mean, everyone else here knows this. But yeah, she had to leave like and, and flee because he had choked her when she tried to leave before. Around spreading lies, saying that I abuse you, bitch. Bro, I never all I'm fucking touched you. Evidence. Evidence. I the evidence is coming up. Chill out. I'm not gonna fucking hurt you. I had my hand like this around you. It wasn't tight enough to choke you out either. Yo, I'm oh, there it is. To get there you it out is. Of the way, so that I can leave the room and go and calm down. Um, uh, Mario, go back like me. twenty seconds. You, uh, that was part. I heard it. Okay, good. Well, that's the evidence right there. The fact that he is admitted to uh, putting his hands on Heather. So, Stanley, this is the, you, you don't disagree with this. Well, am I finally allowed to talk now that you showed half of like 20% of evidence? Like, and not half get 20%. He literally things. just admitted. He just admitted to putting his hands on Heather's throat. He called her a coward for fleeing the house when she was being held captive. Uh, I don't know. Like, what other evidence you need? I mean, obviously, this couldn't be filmed. Uh, Stanley, listen, I know you're, 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 you're probably too stubborn to realize that you're know, back in the no, no, I'm going backstage. I'm going backstage. Uh, and explain. Off, like, you literally just blocked me six times, and yes. then now that your evidence showed up, I'm going to wait to be blocked. Again. Like, well, no, well, if you don't answer a direct question, yeah, you will be. Well, up until now, I so never what are your thoughts on this? Story. Story. But I, I will, okay. What, what right. are your thoughts on this, Stanley? If you don't answer it, here, okay, I'll, we'll try it again. All right, Stanley, what are your thoughts on Sardex admitting to blacking out and putting his hands around Heather's neck vividly and very full description? You just added Stanley, you know the rule. Oh, my God. You, you know the rule, Stanley, so I'm going to try it again. I'll, I'll, I'll ask you again. Uh, if you can't follow the rules, Stanley, I don't have much more time for you. Um, you seem to be thick here, but what are your thoughts on Sardax describing in vivid detail the time that he blacked out and choked Heather? He just said that he did not choke her. 
but then he says one time, and then he does. She had choke, she had finger marks on her neck. How do you explain that, Stanley? Oh, okay. Do I need to kick you back? Okay. How do you explain how they're having choke marks around her neck? Dog, you're doing some weird shit where you keep kicking me off stage and uh, on stage. Stanley, because you won't answer I'm the direct answering. question. <laughs> okay, he just left. He left on his own yeah, volition bye. there. You fucked that guy, yeah. dude. Like, <laughs> for sure. Like, nobody liked yeah, him. Well, he was... <sighs> no, well, here's the thing. Here's the thing. The guy uh, was like a uh, old Cyrax. Um, he, mm. Pointless. Yeah. You know, en enough of this shit. Um, just, yeah. he, dude, not kick, not kick. Shut the fuck up. That's a fucking lie. Enough of that. Yeah, I mean, Marty, I mean, I apologize, Doug. You have to go through with us with him. I mean, he, he, uh, I'll, I'll, he asked him a question, but then he, uh, he continues to talk over you saying, like, ask him the question, ask him the question. Like, you're going to have to shut your mouth for a few seconds, you know, so you can uh, comprehend what's going on. Yeah, please explain it. Dude, not kick off, man. Uh, the, the jig is up. I mean, I understand why he relates to Cyrax. He lives in his mom's basement. Uh, he was trying to be a rapper back then. I'm sure that he, he feels for Cyrax in that regard. Um, yeah. Well, you know, Marty, you again... were Cyrax. <laughs> very cute. Very cute. Yeah. I, I mean, the guy's a fucking retard. Uh, really, really don't know what else to say. Got removed. Dude, you did not. Yeah, it's very cute, Stanley. Very cute. You get I mean, if it was his main um, objective to get us a little pissed off, that would make him successful in his mission. Uh, yeah, no, I, I'll, 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 I'll give it to him. I'll, I'll give it to him. That's fine. Uh, uh, but, yeah, I, I do think that he generally does. Yeah, definitely not kick, Mr. Stanley. So how did so, I just end up off the panel? Because he left. I very cute. So Can I answer the question then? Can I answer the question then? Go for it. Okay. So what you're showing me and what you've asked me is that can I explain how Cyrax put hands on his girlfriend or told her that she needs to get the fuck out of here and that she didn't explain to what she said. But That's, the video you've already you've already misinterpreted. You're, you're, you've already misinterpreted because uh, <laughs> he was trying to keep her there. So I don't know if you have some sort of problem processing things, but that's what he said. He was angry that she left. What was the I'm trying to explain this to you, Stanley? But you've already spoken, you've Sorry. already spoken incorrectly. Yeah. And I'm just okay. You said Sorry, that. You said that. Uh, my uh, uh, here. Uh huh? Was that Tyler? Uh, he just said that he doesn't care. Um. I never said that. I never yeah. said I don't care. I never said I don't care. Never said it. Uh, yeah, everything a, you try to yeah, present to us, I turn to white knife with Cyrax is immediately false. Yeah, that, that, you, you know, this time I did kill the guy. Enough of this fucking faggot, dude. Yeah. Um, you know, I think it's time to get on to the main topic. Uh, absolutely. Tyler, yeah. yeah, Tyler and Y's sweet hacking abilities. Uh, Yeah, for sure. All right. Um, yeah, so Cyrax, Tyler, Tyler, you, you were the guy, the chief principal behind this excellent hacking initiative. Well, I mean, what you you found know, and, uh, yes, what I found is uh, plenty of evidence that Cyrax likes it when women smear shit all over his dick. Uh, not only that, he also loves it when women or guys, I think he rules with both, uh, continues to find the candy bars hidden within this asshole. Uh, as far as, as we're all concerned here, I mean, the evidence that, have been, uh, that has been presented, it's an asshole picture. And underneath, Cyrax gave full consent uh, uh, to this woman to start uh, putting her tongue into his asshole to, quote, unquote, find the candy. Yeah, I saw that. Uh, he was referring, or she, well, this person seems to be transgender just based off the picture. I, you've seen more of their exchanges than I have. Uh, repeat that again. Uh, was this person indeed a transgendered person? Uh, yes. Yeah. 
Sorry? Yes. Okay. Um, let, oh, yeah, I forgot about uh, uh, linking, um, what's it called? Uh, the uh, Cyrax anus picture. Um, I definitely want to do that. Uh, here, give me one second here. Yeah, I mean, I was just as shocked. Because I think that's what everyone's waiting for. Here, one second. All right. So here's the picture uh, of his anus. And uh, here's the exchange. Uh, the worst part is, is that Anus. Cyrus placed his uh, computer screen, you know, right in front of them and, and spread his legs apart like a woman. Okay, I started just uploading here. Um, it's just disturbing that he would subject his fans to the most demeaning sex act imaginable. <laughs> In order to be close with your fans, you're gonna, I mean, you're going to have to admit some 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 things that you don't want to commit to. Uh, one of them being is that he is in uh, a sort of love hate relationship with his transgender girlfriend. You know, they call each other babe. Uh, they exchange pictures. I mean, what else is there uh, to see? It's clear to say that Cyrax is dating a transgender woman. But what about Tangerine Cat? Uh, Tangerine Cat, she has uh, been victimized and cheated on. You know, oh Cyrax um, attempted to manipulate her into coming back to him. But I guess only a few days afterwards, Cyrax here is once again sending pictures of his dick, his anus, and anything imaginable uh, uh, to this transgender female. When he says that she's going to fart on his dick, does that mean um, like from a top or while he's inserted into her anus? It's from a top, I believe. For fuck's sake. You know, and, right, and I'm not sure if, if, if I remember from the uh, from DMs, I think there was a talk of shit on his dick. Uh, Jesus Christ. All right, here, let me put this in. guy that loves to be uh, <laughs> pissed on, degraded. I, I know, but it's, it's kind of conflicting because I guess I would think that you know, being pissed on is degrading, and I guess having somebody lick the shit out of your ass would be the opposite of that. Um, I don't validating. I'm not sure what the uh, correct term would be. Um, all right. Well, so, well, I mean, and well, I mean, like, in a way, Cyrex is being used as a personal sex toy. I mean, eating the shit out of her ass is just so depraved. Right, well, I mean, I can both ways. This um, yeah, so I guess there's three new people in there who have uh, received. Oh my god. Oh my god. So I'm reading some of these messages here. Okay, I guess I got to share this. This is just disgusting. I, you know, I, I was watching the stream earlier today, and uh, it seemed that Tangerine Cat and him were back together. So. I don't know what gets. I'm really not sure here. I don't know how he's going to explain this one. Um, right. Yeah, take a look at this. Yes, yeah, 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 that's that's what I'm telling you, man. Don't fuck. You know, if Tangerine Cat uh, loves being shat on and abused, you know, I, I guess that's how she likes it. But I don't advise it. Um, and for for all of you who are wondering, I'm going to post the accompanying accompanying uh, messages where he says that this woman's going to eat the Snickers out of his asshole. <laughs> it's mind blowing. Um, here, let me cue that up. Um, okay, here. Let's see what this is. 
Okay, so spanks your ass hard, capitalized, and pisses on your. Well, I guess that says fat cock, but uh, uh, yeah, well, it also uh, could say rat cock. Yeah, um, uh, what really got me here was it was when he said this. I think there's like a little role play going on. He said, "Keeps pounding you harder, and let's say and faster than ever before." Cyrax um, is a sex machine. Yeah, yeah, faster. <laughs> yeah. yeah, right here. Uh, yeah, there you go. Faster. Shit comes <laughs> on your shitty cock. Sorry. Uh, okay. Uh, shit's on you from pounding so hard. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> he says, mm, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right, um, are you coming, BB? Or baby? Mm, yes. Oh. And then as soon as this woman says, or, ma or man, but, uh, do you love me? Sarah actually blocks her. Uh, it's depraved as fuck. Uh, well, Tangerine Cat, here's what's going on. Uh, uh, like I said earlier, you've been victimized and cheated on. Yeah, I don't know if you had an open relationship with Cyrax. I don't know how that works, but it seems that he's having a really down and dirty <laughs> conversation here. It, uh, it's it, it's a really intense role play. I mean, I think it's more like fantasizing than a <laughs> yeah, role play. yeah. But I mean, I, but. <laughs> yeah, I'm just imagining. <laughs> but, but, I, I'm imagining like you're. Cock is covered in shit. <laughs> you know, yeah. I uh, guess I guess so, but I don't think I could maintain an erection with yeah. shit all over my penis. Uh, yeah, uh, Tendru, it's true. Yes, yes. I, I uh, hate to be the bearer of bad news. It sounds like you've got some talking to do with Cyrax. Yeah, and uh, but Tangerine, I mean, he literally cheated on you. He says, He's pounding you harder and faster than ever before. Tangerine, has he ever done that with you? The fuck is right. You're damn right. Yeah. I mean, I, I feel bad for Tangerine. Really How could he not? Um, and let me let me uh, put this on there, too. This is just as bad. Um, I, I think it's worse that he is turned on. By a trans, and not that it's a transgender person, but anybody eating the Snickers out of his ass, it, like it, it entails. I imagine like little nuts, little nut particles, and you know, just get it all up in that Cyrax ass. My God, Jesus! Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, but but Tangerine Milk, you are aware that he sent this transgender woman asshole pics. Like he literally spread his legs apart just for this woman. Um, uh, this was after you guys got back together. So uh, you don't have any open relationship type of terms, tange. Um, yeah. I mean, like, imagine going back to Cyrax, you know, like forgiving him giving him a second chance uh, and then he just goes behind your back and commits something as vile as this. Yeah, he's totally desecrating your relationship. It's just uh, I, I don't expect anything better from him and you know, it hurts seeing people get betrayed by him but <clears throat> he will always disappoint because that's just what he does. I mean, like even when he was with Heather, I'm I think I believe that uh, he's been sending dick pics to public discords and, and other women privately. You know, but Heather didn't give a damn. Because I feel like, you know, Heather never really even loved him in the first place. He was used as a objective to get free housing. Yeah. Uh, D. Rosseret, uh, I'm not sure how you say that, uh, pronounce that. Um, she's probably got some talking to do with Cyrax first. But, I mean, I would definitely love to hear from her side of the story here. It's got to be tough. You know, like even this makes me feel bad, you know, for all the shitty stuff that I've done, 
you know, I, I mean, I would never wish this on anybody. Yeah, um, it's pretty depraved. Uh, you know, to subject your fans and take advantage of their appreciation and fondness for you as a pseudo celebrity, it's an abuse of power. Yeah, so I guess people are, are, are reading and you know, uh, discovering this terrible asshole picture. Um, I've got some more uh, comments here, but I'd have to, to weed out um, the nudity in them. Um, here, one second. I'm going to post this uh, as well. Um, you'll also find, as Tyler can tell you as you related to me, but – he also put a, a picture of his penis on a piece of paper. Oh, with yes. A, yes. With oh, my God. 666 oh. on it. Uh, yeah, yeah. So here's what happened, guys. Uh, so Cyrex, with his horrible chicken scratch handwriting, wrote Marty's name on a piece of sheet <laughs> paper. And then he, he, uh, he took his cock out of his rainbow shorts and placed it right on top of his name, which is um, – it's basically signaling that he wants his cock to be on music this morning. Uh, there's a picture of that too. Um, I'm not sure if you want to upload that to your Instagram and link it. Um, sure. Here, one second. Uh, uh, oh, the the penis one. Yeah. Oh no, I put that. I put that in, in the uh, in, in oh, the good, Discord. Good. I link everyone. Yeah. We'll also, we'll be uh, giving away Star X's new album in there. Um, For absolutely free, no charge. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, so I mean, I, I don't even know. I don't even know what to say uh, about this entire incident. Um, <laughs> I mean, I feel bad for Tangerine for giving him a second chance and getting her heart yeah, broken. I mean, I do too, yeah. sucks. But I mean, Tangerine. I mean, at least you know now. That Cyrax is a backstabbing cheater who cannot commit to any relationship. Yeah, well, um, I guess they're really going to have to uh, sort that out. Should be interesting. Cyrax is going to get an earful tonight. I mean, hopefully that's that's all that he gets full. Um, <laughs> I mean, imagine just for anyone <laughs> taking a picture of your spread open bare ass. And telling somebody, telling somebody that they want, you want them to eat the shit out of it. It's disturbing. It's terrible. It's depraved. Cyrex is just. Why do you explain this? I mean, I'm sure that's not the laugh here, but this is just so unbelievable. I mean, I've never seen anything like this. Like this is a huge problem. I mean, I know it's 2021, and I guess like. Kink shaming is is uh, they were sent earlier today. Uh, I'd say approximately eight hours ago, thereabouts. Well, well, shaming somebody of their kink is also a kink. Uh, hmm. Interesting. So, so I guess like uh, in, in ah, I like that. I like that. If I if I get off on kink shaming, then people yeah, okay, I like that. I like that. Um. Uh, well, here we go. Uh, but I know that this is a little off topic. It's still on the topic, Cyrax. But <clears throat> I'm going to pull up an image here, if you don't mind. <laughs> Give me a moment. Huh? No, guys, I mean, check out this right here. I found this really, really interesting. There you guys go. So here's the picture. Um, I mean, I'm sure that you've probably seen this in the Discord. Huh. I think I did. Are you seeing the thing above the screen? Uh, yeah, that is a locked safe built into the wall. Uh, now, shit. I'm trying to remember or know what's within the safe. Uh, I caught this with your timestamp uh, that you had in there earlier. Oh, yeah. Um, so I, I did see uh, last night that um, – he was trying to say that since he changed one word 
in a song, like in that literally all the other lyrics are word for word, um, that it's original work, which just floored me. Well, uh, he doesn't know anything about the word original. No. Um, as far as uh, like his a, character isn't even original. Facts. Yeah, so you know, people are just filtering in and uh, taking in all the Cyrax fucking depravity. Um, I personally am creeped out that he would write Marty and put a picture of his penis on a piece of paper. Like he always says that I'm gay for him. No, I'm just obsessed with him. But this, this Cyrax. Oh, yeah, no. I mean, Jesus Christ. Beyond disturbing, that is true. Um, it doesn't look like it's been violated. No, no, that's true. So I guess that's potentially a uh, a lie on uh, his his end when he claimed that he was raped as a youngster. Um, it does not appear to be uh, pushed through. Oh not man, that. a lot of people just want to get into the Discord. I mean, they, they want to see his asshole pick so badly. Uh, I don't blame them. That's correct. Yeah, I did see that. Someone post the link. Yeah, for sure. Um, and I'll be re-uploading Cyrix's album um, in about a few hours in there. So everyone who hasn't gotten it, you can just go in there and uh, uh, enjoy it. Um, oof. Jeez. I, I mean, the way that his bones are aligned, I mean, I can never see it. Well, Here's what I know about Tangerine Theodore. Um, I, I, at least what has been relayed to me, she has like a, a fetish. I don't call it a fetish, but an attraction to very short men. I think she said that the tallest man she dated was five foot one, and that Cyrax like fits directly into her, her wheelhouse, being four foot nine. So I mean, it's definitely an unusual attraction, but um, who am I to tell her? Or who are we to tell anyone what they can or can't be into? Um, <laughs> so, I mean, all of this shit is just fucking warped, man. It's fucking crazy. Uh, Green's Mr. Heyman. Um, yeah, no, I, I, I definitely think he could have a career in the entertainment industry if he wasn't such a terrible person. Like, he, he he's unmanageable. Like, I'm not even saying that just to reiterate the old Bender Boys claim, but he 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 can't get anything done. Um, you know, he's, he's said that this Forza book is coming out like two weeks ago and instead of working on it, he just sits around playing video games all day. But that includes his manga. Yeah, yeah. Which I was excited to see and I'm sad that I never did. Yeah, it was an homage to Zach Hussein. I mean, I think that would have been beautiful. What better way to honor uh, an Arab man getting murdered in a pizza shop than bringing him into your manga comic book? It would have been beautiful. Dicks out for Tangerine Boys. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> so you had goblinated. <laughs> goblinated. Nice. Uh, Tang likes some fixer uppers, apparently. Um, yeah, pretty nuts, pretty nuts. Um, yeah, I don't know what conventional uh, Cyrax content uh, I got for us tonight. Um, oh, yeah, I guess uh, why I'm failing. You know, just helpful advice from Cyrax on how to be a better YouTuber <laughs> and troll. We don't know who I'm talking about. I don't think I need to say the name. Oh, shit. Nah, <laughs> dude. <laughs> you claim that you're a better and bigger person than me. I wouldn't. Well, I will claim better um, in most regards. Um, bigger, definitely. Like you. Claim I mean, morality is, is subjective. Um, but yeah, I would, I would definitely argue that I'm a better person than you. I think that most people are. To be this. 
stand-up guy. You keep saying that I claim to be right? a stand-up guy. When have I ever claimed to be a stand-up guy? And, and, and in some ways you are. And there have been times where you have stuck up for me. I'm not going to deny that. There have been times where you've actually stuck your neck out and stood up for me. But then all of a sudden, when I expose you for the fraud you are, you start coming up with all these lies and these ways to attack me. Hmm. <laughs> and you know what I find real funny? Is that all your attempts to shut me down are worthless. And thank God, you know, because I really don't want him to go away. Um, like, say Cyrax got ran over by a bus or something like that. It would be a sad, sad day. I'm like, look, dude. Every time you try to shut me down, I shut you up. Every time. And every time when I try to speak truth on your channel and expose you for the fraud that you are, what? you mute me. The reason for that is because you can't handle the truth. You no, can't I mean, handle you the, can't fact handle the fact that they talk over people. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's pretty frustrating. It's a, a little bit, not by much, but a little bit smaller of a channel than you, but has more common sense than you do. <laughs> huh. Damn. Well, I mean... If that were the case, I, I don't know why he keeps putting himself in these same situations over and over and over again. You well, rather yeah, knowing no one not going to die, just gonna hack him. What was that? Sit there, be a troll, fuck my life up, or therefore attempt to do so. But yet, like I said, all your attempts are that of failures hmm. like you <laughs> yeah, how's your album doing or your or your comic books or your books try to expose i me. mean you can't say that i'm not affecting you and whine about how marty's gonna make me end my life it's, you know you, you can't have it both ways for this you try to screw this up you try to screw that up but the truth is all you're doing is running around in circles you're like a fucking dog chasing his damn tail that ain't going to catch it. Well, I'd love to chase it. Wait, bro. Right. Stop being on the same shit. But if you like my music, listen to it. Stop trying to make money off of it because you're never going <laughs> to make money off my music. <laughs> I am going to make money off my music. Yeah, yeah. Well, what are your thoughts on that? <laughs> oh, my God. Well, you know, it's just the same live streams every time. <laughs> yeah. Like, you think you got me where you uh, where you want me. Well, guess what? <laughs> it was all part of my master plan to take you down. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> uh, I wouldn't be surprised if, uh, I mean, to be honest, even though, you know, you were doing uh, a shady thing by hacking Cyrex, it, it was pretty nice for Tangerine because she doesn't deserve to be cheated on. Uh, you know, her, Cyrax is she's a better is, man like Suplex. I'd agree. Uh, but at the end of the day, Cyrax's Snickers belonged to Tangerine Cat and nobody else. Or so we thought. Because, see, here's the thing, Martin. The difference between me and you, this is the biggest difference between me and you. All you do is troll motherfuckers all day long. You talk shit, troll people, talk down on them, bully them, harass them, blackmail them, all that shit. Blackmail? Me, on the other hand, I actually try to help people. I actually <laughs> sit there, I talk with my fans, I talk with my subscribers, I actually hang out with them. Hmm. Hell, one of my subscribers being... One of my best friends of 15 years, Jake. He's been one of my best Who? friends. 
Jake, the the car guy. Um, you uh, know the one who's like man. You you know that gif of of him like manhandling Cyrex. Oh him. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, I remember like he he Cyrex used to call him his ex best friend because he's he got a new um, pickup truck and he said that he could beat Ed's pickup truck in a race and like that was the end of the line for Cyrex. But I guess they've gotten past that. But. For a little period of time, so I was very upset. He took grave offense so that adds F-150. He can beat anyone off the line. For 15 fucking years. I'm the only guy since I was in fucking high school, bro. Like, mm. I actually take time to talk to my fans, to talk to my subscribers. Hell, just the other day... <laughs> When the lava girl was being attacked and I was doing the show, what did I do? I sat down, I stopped the show, I cut the show, and I sat down and I talked with her. Hmm. Why? Because that's the kind of person that I am. See, while you're out <laughs> here your mouth and jacking your jaw like a pussy, I'm over here doing good things. <laughs> Jack and draw. Yeah, I'm over here doing good things, like getting the spread eagle <laughs> and showing my butthole to transgender. I, I mean, he's talking about you jacking your jaw, but I, I, I mean, I thought that, that you were slack jawed. Huh. Yeah, I guess that would make it difficult to, to jack my jaw being slack jawed. Huh. I'm trying to help people. I'm starting a fucking movement. Yeah, bowel movement. All right. I'm out here starting a fucking movement through my music while you're over here saying, oh, well, he's stealing this, he's doing that, <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Nobody gives a fuck what you think, Marty. Hmm. Wait, nobody that was, truly oh, gives a nobody. fuck. <clears throat> nobody. Uh, Marty, how many people watching the stream right now? 40? Uh, mine? Yeah. Mine or six? No, I guess 83 people are watching right now. Uh, well, yeah, so so this isn't nobody cares. You know, you get just as many viewers as he does just by viewing his content. So, <laughs> um, Well, yeah, I seem to get more than he does. I don't mean to be, like, braggadocious, but um, I, I'm not sure if this is a video, but he says, like, you might get, what, 10, 12 subscribers, like, live viewers watching your uh, – and he was sitting at, like, 10 or 12 at the time. Um, and, no, I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I mean, I, I don't get – caught up in it but i love that he's so obsessed by the numbers by the metrics and i dwarf him no pun intended what are you saying yeah but he is it's <laughs> i don't know or do you're just out here coattail ron thinking that you're gonna get rich off the shit that i'm doing <laughs> when doing yeah i'm gonna get rich <laughs> off of rich off you <laughs> <laughs> yeah 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 uh Filthy rich. I don't. I don't know what step one would be. Um, I guess maybe making a GoFundMe to rape Cyrax and just pocketing all the money. <laughs> all you're doing is coattail riding my fucking dick. That's all you're doing. You're, you're shitty dick. dick. Wait, what? That's how it goes. I'm coattail riding his dick. Really, you ain't doing jack shit, motherfucker. Coattail riding my fucking dick. That's all you're doing, and it ain't working. You're failing. And that's why you're failing as a YouTuber, because your channel is nothing but negativity. My well, channel. Well, yeah, but all I do is really cover Cyrax. If there's positive know, things to report. cover what's going on, and that way you would give your opinion on it, uh, as anybody yeah. has the right to do. I know. <laughs> I know. It's, it's madness. Well, on the other hand, it's nothing but positive vibes. Yeah, telling people that you're going to kick your teeth down your throat, stealing. Um, Choke, you put a bull between your eyes, blast your brains oh. out. <laughs> yeah, like just songs about killing me, you know. It's pretty hateful. I've never threatened Sardax with bodily harm. Um, uh, yeah, uh, Marty, I and I must have thought about this. I was going to say this. Uh, uh, pretty soon later on, 
I will show people how easy it is to create a Cyrax song. <clears throat> and maybe we can debut it up on here someday. Hmm. Um, yeah, I definitely I would definitely love to. Um good shit. You know, me sitting down, hanging out with fans, doing some drift runs, uh, fucking playing video games with the fans, fucking doing shows with them, doing hangouts. Sorry, I hang out and I talk with the fans about you. That, that's what I do. Like, bro, <laughs> I actually talk to people. I actually live my fucking life. Okay, you know what? Just to, just to prove you wrong, sorry, Rex. Hi, Puppy Woo. How's your day going today? Hope you're going well. Hey, Cyrax. Oh my God. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. That's why you don't interact with the fans, Cyrax. That, I mean, Jesus fucking Christ. I, I don't, you know, geez, fucking man. Ugh. I should like, not. I didn't know it was that graphic. <laughs> the reason why you're failing as a YouTuber isn't because of you know the personality you have. Honestly, man, I'll be straight up honest. If you were to do it right, bro, you could do a lot of good shit. You really could. Like you got the potential to be a YouTube personality. Sorry, I don't want to be a YouTube personality. I don't <laughs> care about any of that. You got that potential, and you. Well, thank you for the compliment, Cyrax, but I'm not interested. I like things exactly the way they are. I want you to become a YouTube personality. Couldn't and, do it. and you are one. If you really wanted to. I don't. understand you out here yakking your damn jaw, being a troll. <laughs> yakking your damn wow. jaw. That's what I like. That's what I like. Oh, I don't want to make a movement wide. or... Uh, so this is why. What was that? Uh, Cyrus is alive. Really? Yeah, let's go see what he's saying. Huh. Well, guess sure, what? You, fucking you see? So. <laughs> when when oh I spread my, God, my step away from YouTube, YouTube and my asshole. Yeah, I mean, we'll see what he has to say. He's leaving YouTube to go. What's up? So, yeah, failing as a YouTuber and a troll, you thought you could get me away from here, Marty? <laughs> I guess this is what happens when your butthole is. Indefinitely. <laughs> hmm. Oh, sorry. What's up, guys? It's your boy. Your anus. Um, <laughs> first off, I do want to say thank you to Stan for standing up for me like you did, bro. Oh, my God. 100%. Yeah. Like, I do appreciate what you did, homie. You're both retards. But because of Marty and what he's been doing <laughs> and the harassment, that he's been causing. Keep your butthole in your pit. Do you think he uh, blocks Snickers fan? My family, my friends, people I care about. <laughs> I have no choice but to step away for a while. It's not that I want to, it's that I have to. <laughs> This guy is intruding on my life so bad. <laughs> it's so good. <clears throat> I've been very, very depressed over the last two months because of him. Hmm. Hey, Mons, like, handle I'm my white work. Him. Good state of mind. I'm constantly worried. <laughs> constantly by the computer, 
wondering <laughs> when he's going to attack me next, wondering what kind of bullshit is he going to do next. <laughs> I've gone to the police. Nobody's doing anything. I have filled out a report <laughs> after. <laughs> How long until he shows the rope? <laughs> I'm waiting, dude. Oh yeah. my god, the perfect ending to the live stream will be if Evie takes the rope, holds it in his hand, <laughs> and then takes it. <laughs> I know. I have fought this man tooth and nail trying to get him to back off, yet nobody is doing a goddamn thing to fucking stop him. And I'm honestly tired of it. I'm tired of my friends being attacked, people I love and care about being attacked, being lied to. I am tired of it. So until I know for sure that he's either behind the bars <laughs> or his channel is taken down. I'm just going to make more, Cyrex. I mean, I'm, I'm going to ask YouTube, like, what are you no, waiting for? No choice but to step away. I am tired of the harassment. I am tired of these attacks. Constantly going on every <laughs> fucking day. Every day, I have to wake up to this man literally harassing me so bad to the point <laughs> that he's done shit like this. Oh, he's getting it. Yeah, he's getting it. He's getting it. He's getting it. And told me to kill myself on a fucking lie. Please, please pull the rope out of the bag. You tell me where that's going to be. Like, <laughs> when's enough going to be enough? Of course, you, I know. I, listen, I know this guy, the back of my hand. fucking get it. <laughs> like, y'all think I want to step away from doing what I love? No, I don't. But what choice do I fucking have? <laughs> I've gone to the police, I've gone to the feds, I've gone to the, the FBI, and nobody has done fucking jack shit. Because there's no evidence. Nobody has done anything to stop this cyberbullying, to stop these attacks. Well, it's not really I a crime. Is cyberbullying a crime? Um, I mean, or like, what, the only time I ever seen it, I thought it was like it's it's like amongst kids cyberbullying. Or I don't know anyone who's gone to prison. Like, yeah. <laughs> um. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Report after report after report for the last month. I have filled out at least 10 plus police <laughs> reports on this guy. You mean Sally? Has. Oh, man. No, I think I think he probably has, but I, I, I would love oh, to man. see he them give him his right. He would actually the police. I mean, he fears them. F fair. Uh, oh, blood records. Look at that. Oh, my God. Blood shot records. Yeah, but, I mean, he has sat down with Sally and just showed her countless dick pics. Asshole picks and let her sure. know. I, you know. So, yeah. So um, there's some people who think that she is attracted to him, and I'm one of them. This guy, that it's ridiculous. And it's getting to the point to where I not only fear for my own safety, but my family's safety. I would never hurt Sally. That's how bad it's getting. 
This man is literally getting to the point of being a danger to myself and my family and my loved ones. <laughs> literally every day this man is doing this. Yep. And I am tired of it. Every day. Am I quitting music? No. But right now, I have to step away for the sake of myself. What about his big the album? Safety of my family. Yeah, I mean, I was really looking forward to yeah, it. I'm not gonna have some punk ass motherfucker come in and do what he's been doing to me. Well, well. I don't know what to do. I really don't know. Like, if somebody has an answer. Fucking spill it or do something. <laughs> this man has harassed me for months and months and months, and nobody fucking day. <laughs> there are not to watch what is being brought up every fucking day, and you see this shit on a daily basis. I see this shit in my recommended feed every fucking day of the fucking week. Which means he watches content. Every day. I what? have to see. What was that? I said, which that means he watches his content. Which uh, is your content. Yeah. Yeah, man. yeah. Another video of him attacking me and bringing me down. And I'm tired of it. I don't deserve this. This is weird. <laughs> I don't fucking deserve this shit that he's doing to me. <laughs> no one deserves this. <laughs> I just wanted to stop. Oh. Oh, fake cry <laughs> sorry. Oh. Like, I'm not deleting my channel or anything like that. I'm not doing that. But until Marty is dealt with, <laughs> I have to leave and step away for a while. Uh, for my well, how much do I bet when he's going to come back tomorrow? And myself. Uh, it won't be long. I have to step away. Because it's getting to that point to where things could get deadly. And yep. I'm sorry, guys, but I hope you understand why I'm doing this. Yeah, because your asshole got I exposed. I do this for the safety <laughs> of my family and myself. I'm sorry, but I have to step away. Until I know Marty is dealt with and he is behind bars, then I am stepping away. I'm sorry. I have no choice. I have to step away for the safety of my family and my friends and those that I care about. Like I said, I've gone to the police so many times. But yet, they won't do anything to stop him. So I'm sorry, guys. But until Marty gets put behind bars like he belongs, I have to step away. What do you think that's going to be? Uh, huh? I guess I'm not deleting my channel or anything, but I am stepping away. And you so said that how long ago? Like a day ago? Yeah. 24 yeah. hours ago? I'm just guess taking care of.
that can help me stop Marty. Please. Spread this video around. Oh my god. Can you help me stop him, please? Let me go. Well, oh, wow. But you know what, Marty? I mean, well, right now it's 11 p.m. Uh, I'm expecting around like 4 or 3 a.m. He's going to come back and start threatening to kill you, start threatening to kill me. He's, that's what he usually does. Because as soon as he makes a comeback, that's when he starts getting violent, aggressive. Well, I honestly think that he's going to say, as you previously said, that, so, Marty, yeah, I sent out a picture of my asshole. But it was all <laughs> part of my plan. You see, when I sent that picture of my asshole, you want to know what I was actually doing? I was trying to get you to upload it to the internet so I would have <laughs> evidence to put you behind bars. Yeah, because I knew that you would link it to my new album that you're giving away for free. And this is all Which just a part. Of yeah. <laughs> you're in my lair now, Marty. And I hold the key. <laughs> well, Jesus. Um, I guess it's a pretty standard reaction to your asshole getting uh, disseminated all over the internet. Um, <laughs> you know what? What if this actually was the icing on the cake? What was that? You know, well, just as like a hypothetical, what if this was the icing on the cake for Cyrax? Like, oh, you're again, saying like... like to get him to do something drastic, are you saying? Um, well, well, I don't I mean, know. He could go both ways. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't think he has it in him to do that. Um, and you can't take that as a challenge, Cyrax. Um, even you can succeed uh, at that. Um, but I don't know. Uh, the icing on the, what do you mean by the icing on the cake, if not that? Uh, yeah, uh, by that I mean, like, what if he just doesn't end up coming back? Oh, 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 um... Which, which that's why it's, um, uh, it's a hypothetical, I mean, we know it's not gonna happen. Sure, 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 sure. Well, I would imagine that he would probably do something more productive with his life. Yeah, I mean, like, he would go from a former paper boy to a retail worker. Yeah, I don't know. It would be interesting. If he did, I would bet – well, I don't know. Maybe this is too optimistic, but that if he, I did get him to do something else with his time, that he would end up thanking me in the long run, but I don't think that could happen. Um, yeah. Uh, I mean, what are the odds he's not back tomorrow or the day after? Oh, uh, at one point, uh, I remember on his last YouTube channel, uh, we felt like he was probably – like, actually taking a break, you know? He wasn't uploading content for about a week, two weeks, and then, you know, somebody discovered that he was actually uploading videos on a, another channel, and he just can't escape. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's true. Um, I don't know. I really hope that he that would never happen, and it, and it won't. And, it, and we know it won't. Um, yeah, it is weird uh, that safe built up in the attic. Um, it seemed to be open in the picture. Hold on, let me go back. I'll try to pull it up again. Sure. Yeah, this is fascinating. Uh, there it um, There it is. Oh, yeah, here, one second. Um, yeah, that's that definitely cool? a thing. Yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. Huh. Yeah, it's closed. Yeah, I wonder um, if there are any valuables in there. Oh, so what happened with the Snickers? Uh, um, it got eaten. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's gone. And if Sarx was fantasizing about a transgender person eating shit out of his ass. It's just <laughs> sick. It's sick. It's not that the, not that the person's yeah, transgender. I, there's, there's nothing left. You, you know, that's it. That's where the uh, line gets crossed. He can't possibly do anything more horrible than that. Yeah. Um, and I definitely, if anyone can get in contact with Sarex, tell him this, that 
I, I once he's able to have a civil conversation like an adult and not behave like a little goblin and apologize properly and explain himself, then this whole thing is over. But he's never been able to do that. He's never even wanted to try. It's unfortunate. It's really unfortunate sometimes. You could do a lot of good shit. You really could. Like you've got the potential to be a YouTube personality. Yeah, so his video yesterday, why MBM is failing as a YouTuber and a troll, he's saying that all of my attempts go in vain. You know, that I will never get him to go off the internet. Now what's he doing? Gone. You've got that potential. <laughs> you could do it if you really wanted to. But this didn't but age very well. Now you're yakking your damn jaw <laughs> being a troll. Wow. I'm out here helping motherfuckers that are as motherfuckers like you that put people like me in those positions, which those are the ones that I talk to. Those are the ones where, when. Yeah, so he's forgets that by abandoning his post, he's essentially abandoning all his fans that rely on him for emotional support. I get DMs in my fucking discord almost daily well, well at least to the question uh how many people have killed themselves because cyrax couldn't sit down with them and convince them you know this isn't it this isn't all what's the life hmm. you know that is a great question uh if cyrax had to guess how many people's lives he saved i bet he would say at least a dozen um it's unfortunate that none of these people buy his music talking to me like I'm going through something. You know what I do? I take time out of my day to talk to them. I sit down. I have conversations with them. Hell, take a look at my chat over the last four, five, six live streams. Hell, take a look back at the live stream when Lava needed somebody to talk to. She felt like she didn't have anybody. So you know what I did? All I you wanted down. was that virtual pussy, Cyrax. We all know it. We're yeah, not, I, I mean, was going to say, like, you, you were in it for them not to kill themselves. You were in it to be able to get a quick snapshot of their private parts, asshole, titties. I mean, whatever you can get your uh, greasy, dirty hands on. Yeah. Well, he should have been faithful to Tanj the whole time, too. My fucking live stream, and I talked with her. Because she didn't have anyone, and she was being bullied by your fucking people. I don't know who this person is, Cyrax. When are you going to grow up? Like, the shit you do is idiotic, man. Like, for real. Like, you are so far out there that it's ridiculous. <laughs> like, you claim to be a better channel than me, but yet, I don't see you helping anybody out. No, well, I mean... Um, I don't it, describing someone's channel as like good or bad or better. It's all subjective. It's all I'm not going to say that mine's better than yours. Um, I, I'm sure you're going to tell me that yours is better than mine. I don't see you going out of your way to talk to people and tell them, "Hey, you know, I know what it's like to be there. I know what it's like to be on the edge of suicide <laughs> because you've never lived it. I have." <laughs> wow. Yeah, he's got a lot of life experience. I'm a survivor of suicide six different times. <laughs> six? Uh, well, that's not the correct number. Well, um, yeah, and if he, he says that I caused two of them, if he's already tried to kill himself four times, then I would just say that using me as an excuse to continue to try to do it, that's not fair. You know what? I, I am wondering what's saving him from, from wearing dead. And, uh, and his wife, like, what's saving him? Who's saving him? <clears throat> and who is responsible for this? Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe Sally uh, keeps an eye on him. She doesn't want to get her recharge check uh, taken away from her. I don't know. It's a good question. I had friends DMing me. That final time that I wanted to end my life. That last time that I wanted to end my life, 
I got stopped. And really quick. Right at the last second. Yeah, I don't I'd be curious to know how he's tried to do it. It sucks <clears throat> that he's away from YouTube now because maybe he could explain and like kind of demonstrate it for us. Not necessarily going you know hundred percent, but just showing us you know how how he did it. Fans that actually care. By fans that actually care. <laughs> because they actually support the movement that I'm about, huh. which is putting motherfuckers like you to rest, which is stopping bullying, stopping harassment, stopping trolling, at least in the way that you're doing it. Huh. Yeah, because I, I guess it's just failing miserably. Like, dude, you only pull in what? 10, 13, 14 viewers a stream? Uh, 81 right now. 80, 81. I was actually watching your stream, and there was 10 people in there. So, I, you know, I don't know, man. Bro, I'm pulling 20, 30, 40 viewers a fucking stream. Oh. Because my channel is false. Not totally false. But good shit. Because I mean, I've been there plenty of times. Uh, the one thing that I do know is that his views start to drastically go down when he's not trusting the fans uh, with his issues. Mm -hmm. he, uh, the one time his views go down is when he actually gets up, grabs the microphone, and starts singing his heart out uh, music that has been stolen. Yeah. Yeah. I, I would agree. I would definitely agree. I don't sit there and pretend to be somebody that I'm not. You absolutely do. You pretend to be an author. Pretend to be an original songwriter, a beat composer. <laughs> I mean, the, the, you definitely do. Sorry, you see is what you get, which is more than I can say for you. Like all my music that I put out is on the spot, from the heart. Everything I put out is legitimately me. <laughs> but what do you do? <laughs> but what do you do? You <laughs> run your mouth and try to fuck shit up. Well, it's funny he says everything he does is originally him. But you fail at it. Because later on in the stream... But uh, this song right here is actually going out to the homie who... I later on in the stream, he gets called out. show this shit, dude. Here, one second. Um, it's funny, it's just like everything I do is mine. And yeah, go ahead and send me the link, dude, and I'll check it out. Okay, so I sent him a link to Discord, the song to Inside My Mind. I want to see it. And, and oh, this, yeah, this, yeah. Is actually, this is actually very fascinating because, you know, it's obvious to tell when he's lying, but he generally seems to not even remember stealing this here. Yeah, it it's just scary how he's able to convince himself on nearly every live stream that he doesn't steal beats, music, uh, you know, lyrics. Yeah, because it, it seems that he is genuinely surprised by this. It's, it, it is well, frightening it, to see dude, how... It's just, it's just a coincidence, dude. I mean, I know this guy back in high school, uh, like 15, 16 years back, and we got into it, and he stole my lyric sheet. Yeah, you yeah. Know? but then later on, later on, like, yeah, then that guy that I went to high school is Marty. You ever stop to think about that? Um, <laughs> like, no, it's, it defies logic, man. It's impossible. Well, then I'll do you one better, old school. I'll send you my, my Discord, and you can send it to my Discord straight up. Straight Fucking up. Discord, you can send me that shit, because I want to see it. Come on. Let me show you, bro. Like, I will show this shit to you. It, like this is it, Tyler, as you said, it is really actually scary. Um, yeah, I, you know, I would never be able to convince myself of a lie, but you know, I mean, like sometimes with people, I mean, you can only spit a lie so many times before you actually start to believe it because they're psychologically damaging yourself. Um. Yeah. I. I, I 
Couldn't agree more. I will show you the channel that I have this shit on, bro. Uh, what's up, Melty? Um, yeah, so Cyrax claimed that he wrote a song and made the beat, um, when in all actuality, every single lyric was stolen. And right now, it seems that he's actually convinced himself that he didn't steal it. But in a few moments here, you'll see that he realizes that every single word is the same. Uh, and instead of coming to a grand realization, he just tries to make a cheap excuse and, you know, ride off into the night. But it's not happening. I think it takes him a second here. Right here. <laughs> All my shit. Yeah, Sarks, I mean, like, just because you hey, upload what? it like a year ago does not mean it's still yours. You know, it's right, still right. And he, and he says that he, he made these songs in December of 2018 when the song was written in 2013. Like, there's no other explanation. Other than then it's stolen, but he won't accept it. You you won't just fall on the blade. Uh, Revolution Metal Boo, where I did a metal version of Modern Gym, where I did like a metallic Modern Boo. Another day is over when silence speaks inside my mind. Edge of sanity, schizophrenic girl, which I like that one. That was on the Life You Lead was stolen by April Phillips, who wrote it in 2011. Uh, Life You Lead, a bunch of orchestral pieces. I covered Train Out of Line, another cover. Come on. Okay, go to inside my mind, Cyrax. My dude, the proof is right here. I'm not... <laughs> like... <laughs> just shut your ear holes and listen. All right, it will be. Yow! Yeah, I love that. Send me that fucking DM right now. Like, for real, bro. Send me that motherfucking DM in my Discord. Not on here, on Discord. The reason why I'm not modding anyone is because of the bullshit <laughs> Marty calls. I got a feeling you two work for him. I, it was me, Chance. I'll admit. I was old school rap D A W G. Make a Discord. Not that hard, bro. <laughs> Shut your ear holes and listen. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? All right, I'll tell you what. I'll mod you if only for a couple minutes. I'll mod you for a couple minutes, son. Go ahead and post the link, and then once you send the link, I'm unmodding you. I'm going to unmod you once you send the link. Fine, Sir X. Me, y'all are full of shit. Like, it doesn't seem like he genuinely believes that he had nothing to do with this. Maybe it's posterity, but I don't know. All right, hold on. Let me look that up right quick. That's true, <laughs> Melty. That's true. I mean, like, you can just tell how scared he is now. But, like, we just got himself into it. He gets to dig himself back out. He's yeah. stuck in the hole. No, 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 man. Hold up. Alright, let's check this shit out. Wait, what? Is he actually reacting to the real song? He, well, um, yeah, he, he stole the lyrics from the wow. song that's about to play, and he put it on Inside My Mind. Um, I, so he, okay, he's seeing, well, here's my note. Oh, sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. No, you go for it. Oh, all right, thank you. Uh, so here's what I believe. Uh, Sark started to play it because he probably knew that there was a small chance that people uh, uh, would end up finding this pretty old song. Uh, it, it turns out that he was wrong. I mean, I guarantee you, uh, that the smug look on his face disappeared into a frown. 
As soon as he started hearing the lyrics, he started panicking. His heart dropped. Um, yeah, yeah, but how is he able to repress the memory of stealing it in the first place? Well, he doesn't he seem to have a really great memory. I, mean, I, I, I would uh, compare him to a goldfish. That's true. He, he, he couldn't ever seem to remember my name for like a, a year. Um, that's a good point. Look at his face. <laughs> yeah. Bro, it's an orchestra piece. Close to that. What the fuck, bro? That is nothing close. But we're gonna play them both uh, for you. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, you can tell that he's panicking. He's, he's up something that he panics. He's like, uh, no way. Yeah. Uh, you, you got me there for a minute, dude. You know? Uh, yeah. He, he seemed <laughs> pretty, pretty aghast. <laughs> he just yeah, it I'll right away. Hang on, let me pull up the lyrics version if I can, if it'll let me. Yeah, I already sent it to him, so it's, it's right there. <laughs> what the fuck, bro? <laughs> <laughs> Man, y'all are on troll shit. I swear, dude. <laughs> uh, you know what? Uh, I give props to anybody that said, like, since he doesn't know how to, uh, how to tie a knot. He might as well just swallow the rope. <laughs> <laughs> um, go. I suppose that would work. Uh, good evening, Skull Kid. I don't know if you've seen Cyrax's anus yet. Oh, my God. Yeah. Why is everyone talking about Rich Life? What do you mean Rich Life is dark? Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, people, are, yeah, I mean, people are, 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 are on Discord saying how, like, he's through. It's over for him. He got, he got busted. I don't know what's going on. For what? I, I oh have no God. clue. What do you mean? Wow. Oh, my God. Holy shit. Mr. Harrelson, that's not good. Oh, my God. Well, hang on a second here. See, their lyrics aren't exactly the same as mine. <laughs> their lyrics are not the same. You see, you see, if you edit twenty percent of the lyrics, it's therefore yours. Well, no, I, th I think he's saying that, like, because they're saying tears of empathy. He says, "I'm saying tears of empathy, not empathy." I say tears. I mean, it, of it doesn't matter empathy. how much you all. Think. Yeah, I mean, you steal lyrics and you switch them up, and that's still See, killing. not exactly the same, bro. Y'all are on some fucking troll shit, so get the fuck out of here. For real, dude. Damn, sir. Wow. Like, for real. Get oh, the fuck man. out with that that's troll like, shit, no, you fucking man. morons. Jeez. Yeah. Get Ow, man. Uh, I know what y'all are trying to do. I know what y'all are trying to do. You're trying to fuck with me. You're trying to get in my fucking head, and it ain't working. So, yeah, all you little trolls, see ya.
Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know about that. I'm like, to, for real, dude. Get out, you fucking weirdos. But, anyways. Ronnie, back to you. Like, you really think yeah. that Oh my god, like, I can't even begin to tell you how stupid you actually are, bro. Like, I know what you're doing. You're trying to have all your little trolls. To- yeah, Blue just asked me if he could uh, join my Discord. Um, mm. I, I told him I'll, I'll, I'll consider selling him a member, a monthly membership fee. Do all this shit. Oh, wow. And it's, nice. and it's not working, homie. Yeah. Like, come on. You don't think I don't see right through your bullshit, but uh, I do. At the end of the day, Marty, my music is my music. It's not, Cyrax. People enjoy it. And if you can't handle that, well, tussle what? fuck, motherfucker. Because <laughs> yeah, it's just amazing how entitled he is to steal people's shit. And, you know, Cyrax, like, nobody buys your stuff anyways. So why don't you just own it and say, like, yeah, they're not my lyrics. Yeah, it's not my beat. But it is my singing. Like, just be honest. As nobody I'm cares gonna... anyways. Nobody. Except for me. Don't like it? Too bad. <laughs> you want to do something about it? Go ahead. Which we already have. Yeah, yeah uh, you know, right. Pictures. Yeah. Sure. Like, we're, what's your current status on YouTube right now, Sir X? Like, you're, you're if gone. you want to try to get a hold of this major band that's probably dead by now, like, come on, dude. Like, my God, dude. Like, like I said, Marty, the reason why people fuck with me the way that they do, like, in a good way, is because I actually connect to people. Hmm. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I'm sure uh, they connect to a transgender actually, woman. Uh, yeah, you're gonna just you're gonna take advantage of your celebrity to have a transgender person eat shit out of your ass. You know the same. Th- Do you know who Ian Watkins is? Who? Ian Watkins. Uh, if not, that's I fine. So. Um, I think so. I'm not too sure yeah. about it. Sure. Yeah. He he was a uh, a singer of a band, of Lost Prophets, who Cyrex shouted out about a month and a half ago. Who took advantage of his celebrity um, to appeal to fans? Who he would then get their kids to do like depraved sex acts, all because he was taking advantage of the celebrity. So I understand why Cyrax gave a shout out to this guy because he's doing the same thing only with transgender people uh, eating oh, shit man. out of his ass. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. and it's just I can only imagine what's going on in Tangerine Cat's head right now. Yeah, yeah, I mean. I, no, I do that for Tangerine, but I mean, I, at the same time, I mean, it's sort of her fault for, you know, for getting Cyrax, Chance Wilkins, out of all people, a second chance when he's unmanageable. I I couldn't agree more with you. Um, I would never bet on him to succeed or to honor his word. Um, I'll always bet on him to fail, and I'll cash in every time. Your content be. It depends on what you want your channel to be about, man. Your channel is about whatever women hanging out on a dude that you feel like. So, so you was giving some kid advice on how to become a successful YouTuber like he is. 
Hell, if you want to do a freaking comedy channel, do a comedy If you want to show your butthole to transgender people and tell them you shit out of it. You say that I'm this evil person, but really, you're the evil one. Evil. All the way. Yeah, I mean, I, I wonder, like, what goes on in Sarx's mind when he's confronted with these hurdles? Um, I mean, I'd be embarrassed and ashamed if I took a picture of my spread ass. Oh, Martina, you have just hit a whole new low. Oh, shit. It's, oh, my word. <laughs> oh. Holy shit. Um, well, I guess, you know, that's kind of... Wow. Oh, my God. Um, but, Trina, I mean, I mean, the stuff that you're into is sickening. Uh, you want to eat the sticker bars off Cyrax's... <laughs> uh, uh, I can't remember what I'm saying. Uh, so, um, does it turn you on to, to make Cyrax's cock shitty? I mean, and that's fine if it does, but you have to understand that he was in a loving, committed relationship. Oh, shit. Tangerine thing. Game on. It's just so, Sounds like we got a cat fight wow. on our hands here. He, he, he well, <laughs> yeah. Back to my ass. Well, that's true. Um, man, I don't know what to say. Like, if Cyrac is into deeply perverted sex acts that you can't perform, Tenge, then I don't know that you guys have a, have a happy future together. I don't know. Hmm. Oh, shit. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Martina, it sounds like you're just something for, like, a toy for Cyrax to play with. But I think he's in love with Tanj. Fuck. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, this is just explosive here. Um. Yeah, while 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 these guys uh, have this exchange here, uh, definitely gonna play a quick two minute song for uh, for old Cyrax and his sexual perversions. Uh, this is essentially Cyrax right here. All right, this guy. Here. Oh, wow. oh, this. Oh, sticker satisfied. You know, and he's, I think he's wearing his outfit that he's ready to be shat on him. Who is caramel inside you in the candy world? It is a superstar. Sicker satisfies. I ain't telling lies. Creamy nougat palette, pleasing luscious chocolate. So it sounds like, like they, they, they've got some barbs in. You can't keep a man out of the snicker stains to prove it. Uh, and a cock, yeah, but well, he likes that well, too. Oh. Uh, what would be, uh, I mean, oh. I'd have access uh, to the DMs, and your kinks are out there now. Yeah, Tyler, I mean, you, you might have, and I don't want to subject Tangerine to any untoward behavior, but when you hack into Cyrax's computer the next time, is there any chance you could look at some of the messages between him and who? Can you, the next time you hack into Cyrax's computer, can you look at some of the messages between him and Tangerine Cat? Uh, well, you know, I don't feel like it's right. But I'll tell you what, whoever wins this argument will not be getting sure. 
hacked. Okay, okay, all right, that's fair. That's fair. It's true, um, now. Yeah. Yeah, what's begging you to stay with him? No, he blocked you. Oh, shit. That's true. Uh, hmm. That's a good point. That's a good point. He, and he's still fighting for Tanj, then. Both of these should be mad at Rax for using you both. Yeah, I agree. I agree with that. Um, biscuits? No, I, uh, I don't know. Um, well, that's, that's fair, Tanj, but, you know, Tyler is going to hacking school on a full scholarship, and if he wants to read your messages, there's really not a thing you can do about it. Yeah, if oh. I can get access to Cyrax's ass, oh, whoa. You're, whoa. you're looking for a three-way? I can show wow. you too. Oh. Yeah, Cyrax just has all the luck. I can shit on you too. Well, Tanj, yeah, it's right. on active. Yeah, yeah. Fuck. Um, well, I don't know. Who do you think is winning so far, Tyler? Like, how do you gauge winning? I would say that. Uh, well, yeah, yeah. Okay, so in my opinion, you know, Tangerine, I mean, she was winning in the first half. This half, uh, Matrina said, you know, like, I can shit on you too, like referencing the fact that she wants to shit on Cyrax's stick. I thought that was extremely clever. Now, Tangerine Cat is saying, <laughs> you, uh, uh, you know, like, I would have to explain myself and, like, I would have to defend myself. Like, uh, Tangerine, I mean, you are not defending yourself. Hmm. That's a good point. You're kind it's of very true, but I will pass on the poop. I, I do think that Tan does hold the upper hand only because Cyrax blocked Martina. But that's true. I, yeah, yeah. But you know, uh, Martina is showing a willing effort by offering to be included, whereas Tan is being exclusive towards Martina, and that's not very friendly. Yeah, but like Cyrax has, in a way, used them both. Uh, yeah. For different oh, reasons. Oh, man. Matrina. Oh, man. Looks like Tangerine Cat's winning us so far. Matrina just sent a unhappy face. Struck her right in the heart. That pulled her heartstrings. Yeah. But, you know, she's showing humility in these times, whereas Tan is a little bit braggadocious. It's a great question, Tommy. I think that Adrian has been scolded by his family that he, he, there's no way he can go over to the champ's house without getting reprimanded for something. Um, I don't know, but I do feel bad for Tanj if she actually had feelings for Cyrax. And if that's the case, then I don't know. I, I might have to try to interfere with it just to have balls all the relationships. But, you know, I, I would I would bet that she, there's no way she goes back with Chance after this. Like, it's too big of a slap in the face. Yeah. Oh yeah, but like, what if she does? Hmm. Uh, I think I, 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 I think I would honestly just lose respect. Yeah, and dude, dude, if you if you want to be anonymous, like, don't put your daughter's name in your in your fucking username. It's it's a giveaway, man. It's a dead giveaway. Yeah, crypt. Oh well. Yeah. Okay. So, Adrian, um, have they like I don't want to get you in trouble. Have they scolded you before for like I don't know, punching him in the face? Unfortunate coincidence. All right. All right. For sure. I got you. Huh. Whoa. Whoa. So, what is he claiming? Yeah. How did he swear on Sally's life? What do you mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But even when he swore on Sally's life, he still lied. Most definitely lied. So, Tangerine, I mean, at at the end of the day, Cyrax lied to your face and cheated on you. Well, but maybe Cyrax has an excuse for all of this. Maybe there's some valid reason. 
he he probably sent the butthole pick, assuming that it was Marty, but it wasn't. Hmm. Yeah, I, I have I have to concur. I have to concur with that. I think a lot of people would. You're too far gone, baby cakes. I mean, again, that's Snickers this afternoon. So, wow. Martina, what do you like about? Wait a second. You said that Tyler photo, Tyler. Yo, what's up? He's saying that you photoshopped the evidence and that the photos were old. All right, all right, go on. You know, I don't think that I, uh, I would be able to photoshop something what? like that. I mean, I, I would never be able to picture Cyrax the asshole, and if anything, it could be unseen. Uh, when I first seen that, I was trying to wonder what sick and twisted things um, Trina and Cyrax were both into. Uh, I definitely wouldn't be able to edit himself spreading his ass cheeks apart in a real fashion with this well tiny asshole to be specific. And not only that, I mean he was wearing his rings. Exactly. I, don't exactly. Think yeah. I, I, I can't stop like that. That's pro Photoshop. You know? Exactly. And and you know his hands were placed directly where they would need to be to spread it wide open. Right. Right. And like it, if I photoshopped, I mean how did I get a hold of the VMs? With that fucking picture within it, you know? Yeah, why would you need to photo? Right, exactly. Ex exactly. Ex right. Exactly. If they're photoshopped, why would Chance leave YouTube? Exactly. Yeah. I, I, you know. Martino is saying they're admitting that, yeah, Cyrex did spread his butt cheeks apart. You know? It's not photoshopped. Why? It's not fiction. It's reality. Those fingers are a dead giveaway. Yeah. I would have to agree. But maybe they're old pictures. I mean, if they're – you think that it's Photoshopped and they're old. I don't know why it would matter if they were old, if they were Photoshopped. I don't know. It's – I think that's a great idea. And then when they're done – uh, Tyler, if well, you can just can have be, the both of them. Uh, it's, it's, yeah, I, uh, I do have a hold of them. But it's all within the Discord. And Marty, you also have the uh, pictures of the DMs as well uh, with yeah. the sickening role play that was going on. Yeah, yeah. I I don't yeah. know how... You, you know, I, like, I'm not sure how I would respond to a picture of my spread open asshole being disseminated everywhere. I would probably do exactly what Cyrodex did and say, I got to go. I can't take this anymore. And just tuck my tail in between my legs and uh, saunter off. Oh, boy, Chance, you're in trouble now. So he's oh. – how could he swear on Sally's sure. life? Well, this isn't the first what time kind of he has sworn on Sally's life. What kind of a man would do that, though? It's – She's looked after Cyrax for all these years. Yeah, it, including stealing him from the hospital. <laughs> Hang on, I gotta take one more look at this gaping asshole here. Um, well, actually, I want, yeah, I want, I say want you to depend on Photoshop because, Maury, you never lie. No, I wouldn't. I definitely wouldn't lie about this. Oh man, dude, this is just. Fucked up. Um, it's just got his anus out there. Okay. Um, one second. Yeah, Tangerine. I mean, have you ever even seen the asshole picture uh, for yourself? I mean, I'm not sure if, if you've seen it. it. Looks pretty real to me. Okay, I, would I would imagine that she's seen a lot of Cyrax's body before. Um, you know how Cyrax is. He's very forward with his butthole. Kendrick, and, you might as well see a jerk pop pain. video. Oh, uh, Jesus Christ. Um, hang on. Okay, well, yeah, that's... You know, his, 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 what I've noticed, he's got, like, a very weirdly hairy body. Like, 
certain parts and patches are very hairy, but then the next is hairless. Yeah. And yeah. Um, the rings are definitely his. He's got his spindly fingers. <laughs> yeah, to, yeah. Me, it looks like, to me, it looks like it's him all the way. Play your cards right, make it a chocolate treat. Nobody wants that, Martina. Nobody. <laughs> it's not a. Oh my God, these people. I mean, I'm, I haven't had a whole lot of experience looking at a midget's anus before, but I'm confident that, that this is him. Um, there's another thing I found here, which is kind of disturbing, uh, and we can speculate here on what it is, but a part of his body, I think it's personally like a harness stripe. Um, but let me let me pull this up here, and we can all take a, a guess and a gander. Uh, well, I can't. It's kind of poorly. Um, here, one second. How do I do this without showing his penis? Uh, is the question. <laughs> and I don't know if that's the answer. If, um, but do you know pick something? Up? Huh? If not, here. Uh, Okay, here it is, here it is, here it is, here it is, here. I can show this. There's no penis on there. Uh, what is that? All right, you can see he's lifting up his shirt. To show. Yeah, I hope there's not a discernible penis in there. Um, it seems to be shaded out. But he's got like this mark on his, on his abdomen, which is kind of like mm -hmm. gross. Mm. You see that? It's like kind of like a stripe. Yeah, you know, that's true, Tracy. Um, Chance is a heartbreaker. Well, what do you think? Later faggots. I, no, I, yeah, right, right, right. Um, and there's so many pictures of Cyrax, like, exposing himself. That why wouldn't he show his asshole? Like why wouldn't this be him? I have no reason to believe that this isn't him. You know, I never thought they would actually show his asshole on cam. That's it's definitely something I would never even think of. You know, I just don't sit there and think of Cyrax's asshole and just Photoshop it. That needs to happen organically. You know, and not to mention that his asshole is Really, really tiny. It, it's concerning, but yeah, I, I, well, I agree. I find his story about getting uh, butt raped implausible because it seems like everything's intact on there. And surely, with his small frame, if he was penetrated uh, in prison or or as a child, whatever, that it would be impacted. But you know, what do I know? Um, so I guess he made another video. Um, I had enough of the uh, fucking Marty Zafalo's YouTuber. You know, okay, sorry, Rex, sorry, that's great. But um, then he, he made another video today, which I didn't get through all of it. Um, it was kind of boring. But, yeah, I mean, I'm probably going to do this for another 20 minutes, half hour or something. So might as well get to it. He's saying that he's, like, scared uh, uh, and that he needs to contact the FBI. Hey, to tell people, hey, Who should? this is what's going on. What can I do to stop this? Like, how do I put an end to this when the FBI won't listen to you? The police won't listen. Well, once you show the rope, it's got to be any moment. <laughs> you probably did it at the beginning. Every time uh, yeah. yeah, he loves showing that fucking really rope. Um, well, yeah. This is the kind of shit that I fight back against. 
this is the kind of stuff that that I Eric definitely has some explaining to do. Ah, uh, well, that's that's too bad. It's what he does best. It's what he does best. He tucks his tail and he runs. Personally, I'm trying to put an end to for good because nobody deserves that. Nobody deserves to be put through the crap that you know Roman and Brittany and Kane and Noah and their family get put through. Nobody gets deserves to get put through what I get put through or what my ex Caitlin got put through. Nobody deserves that. But you do. Like nobody deserves that level of hatred. Or even bullying or harassment. Like, it doesn't matter what you've done. That's because, you know, somebody's done something to you in the past that doesn't give you that right to make their life a living hell. Like, it just doesn't give you that right. Like, I can understand if, like, say, they, like, just for a pure example, let's say they killed a member of your family and you're trying to go after them and you truly want to kill this person to keep them from killing anyone else or doing harm. Oh, wow. So he's trying to justify it. He's First off, he's saying that I'm a murderer and then he's saying that he's justified in trying to kill me. I, I'm not sure if that's what he's saying, but... To anyone else or someone else's family, I get that. Oh, yeah, I do. I get that 100%. Jesus. But getting put through the stuff that I get put through or what Roman and his family got put through with those stalkers, nobody deserves that at all. Whatsoever. Like, nobody deserves that. Like, you know, I come on here every day and... You know, I try to make you guys laugh. I try to. You always laugh. succeed at that, Cyrex. Like every time. <laughs> oh, it's unfortunately unintentional. Yeah, I mean, like, in terms of failure, I mean, he has... yeah, yeah. I mean, he definitely provides uh, um, what he sets out to as far as making people laugh. I just don't think he realizes it. Um, you know, I try to help up with you guys. In any way that I can, because yeah, why does Cyrix always claim that he's talked with these YouTubers and but he's like best friends with them? It's just it's just pathetic. I know that, especially right now, these are very very trying times. These are very hard times. Um, you know, well, I, I mean, Cyrix has been quarantining before it was cool. I don't think there's anything tough about it. No, 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 no. Yeah, he's insisted upon uh, social distancing for the past 11 years, 12 years. I'm like, there's, there's a lot going on. And, you know, and it's not something that, you know, let's face it, it's not something that we want to think about. You know, we'd rather be happy and smiling and be <laughs> positive and, you know, have a good time and be able to relax without work. And, you know, and that's what I try to do for you guys whenever I do these live streams and I do these videos. I try to bring, you know, some level of comfort to you guys. I try to bring some level of, you know, positivity and to uplift you guys and show you guys that, hey, even though we're in the middle of this insane pandemic that, from what I'm saying, who knows when it'll end. You know, I try to, you know, bring that positivity and show you guys, like I, was, like I said, even with this pandemic going on, that, you know, you can still have a good time. You can still be positive. You can still, you know, do things. Hmm. And, you know, and I like to be that escape for you guys. And sorry, so your lifestyle has not changed one iota since... COVID has been implemented. It just hasn't. I like to be that escape that, you know, whenever I upload a video, you guys can kick back and, you know, relax. And yeah, I mean, we're relax. totally going to try to escape reality by watching your live streams. So yeah. What my goal is, 
is to uplift you guys and, you know, ultimately, you know, make you guys feel more welcome hmm. and well, more you. at home. It's very sweet. Because of me, what you see is what you get. You know, I don't but you're have a, a $3 million dollar computer set up with a fancy Wait, what? other computer have back to see is what you get. What was that? What's his face is back again. Oh, you know, fine. But, you know, I was going on this one. Let's give him one more opportunity. One more here. chance. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, let's go see yes. what he has to say. What have you learned? That... Hello, Mr. Yeah, Stout. Yeah, really? Chance. How many times have you blocked me, bro? Well, again, you seem to be slow on the uptake. Right. But you certainly... Yeah, but, uh, uh, but he's something crawling back. You said you what? Who, uh, well, who kept on crawling back? Who kept okay. on making new accounts to be uh, able to talk to the man himself? What do you yeah. mean by the man himself? The man who blocks me, but then does the same thing that he gets mad at other people for doing? Well, uh, here's the difference between you and I. You seem to be incapable of processing information, honestly. Right? Like, so you got a man screaming, waving his face saying that I never abused you. But, yeah, I choked you once, and I blacked out and found my hands on your neck. Yeah, so what? I mean, what's not to understand about that? What's not to understand about it is which side you're going to take and 10-second clip you're going to take right. and what type of person you take Cy Cyrax as. Okay, well, well, let me ask you this. All right, how did Heather get strangulation marks on her neck? I have no idea, bro. But if you, you know, if you're going to look at like everything that a girl takes as solid proof, then I don't know what to tell you. What reason would Cyrax's grandmother have to make up being strangled by her grandson? So right. it's a uh, video. Uh, of... I didn't mean to well, get cut off. What was that, sir? It's a video clip of, you know, Cyrax's grandma saying he has choked me <clears> because. When I asked you to show a video of that, you showed me some video of him going off cam and then saying that, well, he's done that, so that means that he's done that. Well, Stanley, I don't have all these things directly on hand, but if you would honestly want to see them, I'd be more than happy to send them to you after the stream. I've been wait, bro, it's I've been on here like two, three times now, got blocked five times. I've told well, you yeah, well, and, and the reason for that is because you act like a retard. Or a troll. <laughs> Either way. Like, I'm asking for proof, bro. Well, but, well, here's the thing. I mean, like, you don't get it because you support Cyrax, and that's why you're being so ignorant to the fact that he admitted to choking out his grandmother. He admitted to choking out uh, Heather. And that's still not enough because you white knight Cyrax and you suck his dick whenever you get the chance to. You suck his shit-covered dick, don't you? <laughs> Yeah, um, I mean, so I don't, I don't know what it is. I, I think it's because you know you're both aspiring rappers at one point, and I think that's the only reason you're incapable of viewing this honestly. Um, there's no reason that Sardax would say, "Yeah, so what? I choked you," if not to, you know, try to defend his own actions. There'd be no purpose for him making this up. He never said, so what, I choked you, so blah, blah, blah. He did, he though. Said, I never he did. He did. He did. You can go back and, in the and watch this game. Um, I mean, I, 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 I'm sure you're just trolling right here. If you truly want to defend Cyrax, uh, I can do it with you some other time. Um, and when I have the clips, I'll present them to you. Uh, um, right. So why – I mean, if it's so easy to find and it's such like, you know, well, here's, the thing. here's the thing, sir. And I want to, I want to address that because oh, there's 40 man. minute videos and it's a 90 second clip and I don't have the exact timestamps ready. Does that make sense? It has to. It, and if it doesn't, I don't know what to tell you. Fuck. I was going to answer. Okay. So if you, if you ask me shit about, you know, Charlie saying that, you know, he, he doesn't like his mom. I can just simply search Charlie Zellinoff mom and find it within 30, 40 seconds and shit, bro. 
Do it. And this is okay. Well, hold on. Here we go. Hold on. Seconds. Here we go. And while you're doing that, I've got another one for you. So. It's in the private chat. Back again okay. so soon. He like doesn't leave you alone for five seconds. Well, you know, Stanley, here, here, for absolutely. We'll, we'll play this game here. We'll play this game. Charlie's saying okay. he doesn't like his mother. And I can, I can just play the idiot and be like, well, uh, but I don't see him, uh, any conflicting statements there, you know, because Charlie... And make up some bullshit reasons. Um, I mean, but I guess I got this going on right now. And if you truly want to learn something about who you're dealing with, then that's fine. I can see that anxiety. I can see where that would get you irritated and stressed. And this whole internet stream is funny for you. It should be subjective. Sometimes I've cried on live streams plenty of times. And you don't, you're not part of the jungle community to where you have, should be subjective. Yeah, I never claimed to be a part of that, of course. No. He was just saying, you know, like, if you cheated up, you were maybe used to some of the... No, she's not. ...or stuff like that, it's probably hard to get used to. No, she's not. See, I can't... No, it's not, it's something else. <laughs> I don't want him to like follow you around and think like we're doing this to be mean to him. Go inside. No, you know what? You don't fuck up, bitch. Get inside. You don't fuck up. You don't fuck up, you fucking cunt bag. Is that what you're calling you a cunt bag, Heather? I'm calling both y'all bitches cunt bags. Oh my god. See, Heather? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that somebody to call the police for real. Oh, but he just said, I'm calling both of <laughs> y'all punk bags. Yeah, yeah about- both Heather and Kiki. Do you not like, understand? Bro, he's talking about the two bitches, not his girlfriend, though. Like, the two bitches. Uh, hmm. Yeah. Well, I can see your whole. I, this is why you're a sympathizer for Cyrex. You believe women deserve to be abused and degraded. Oh, that's, here we go, that's man. What yeah. That's what I'm yeah. hearing from your tone and incantation, sir. Here we go. So do you have any evidence? Of Cyrex? Let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Uh, Zelenoff related. Do you have any evidence of Cyrex? Or, sorry, of Zelenoff. Oh, class just posted a link. Sorry. Yeah, do, you have, do you have any instances of Zelenoff harming a woman physically? No other than through uh, verbal shit, but no, bro. Just like you have no actual physical evidence of, you know, Cyrex choking a girl on We can't obtain evidence, but we can't obtain him admitting it. And that's still not good enough because you're a Cyrex sympathizer. I mean, you white knight in his chat. We see you in there every night he goes live. And you're trying to tell us that we're supposed to believe you on, 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 uh, on what you say when you don't even have evidence to him not doing this. Yeah, because it is no evidence, bro. Because there is evidence. If admitting yeah. something doesn't mean that it's true. There, so there's no evidence. Haven't you said before that Charlie beat up his dad? Yeah. Where's the where, video evidence of that? Yeah. No, it is no. So, but it so, is. so then how can you make that claim absent video evidence? Because you several have... people. Okay, I'm sorry. Fuck, man. <laughs> wow. Okay. You... Oh, okay, wow. So you don't have video evidence of him not hitting Heather? Jesus. Well, yeah, so, so technically anything that's on video anymore. never happened, right? Exactly. If that's what we're going okay. with, then, then we can't really make any sort of claims because not Man, everything is on video. Oh. Do you understand that, Stanley? I didn't mean to cut people off. Shut the fuck up, faggy. Shut the you, you fucking yes. faggot. Stop yes. playing that faggot. Why didn't you guys yeah. talk about when I no. talk? No, no. Man. So, we should okay. have sent that rope over so to you, to be honest. It seems like yeah. you need it more than yeah. Cyrax. So, so let me speak about that, though, bro. You thought it was funny to send somebody a rope? I never yeah. sent the rope. Uh, what? Yeah, I exactly. I mean, we thought that was funny. Nobody sent the rope. But we thought it was so, funny. You yeah. thought it was funny, but you yeah. say we as a yeah. uh, group. And I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. Yeah. He tells me to kill myself 100 times a day. So I think it's funny that somebody else sent him a rope. Yeah, absolutely. 
Sure. Uh, Marty, there's a video that Classic sent. I guess it's pretty important. He's okay. putting the link in there a few times. Oh, absolutely. Thank you. Sorry, X. But, Here's the thing. Admit, you, you can admit he laid hands on Heather. It doesn't matter because this guy's a retard. Um, no, it just truck. means that, dog, regardless what happens, y'all going to have an echo chamber in here. Right, sorry, and, Stanley. Uh, I didn't mean to cut you off, bro. Sorry. Uh, yeah. That's all good, man. <laughs> but we've, Go seen, we've seen – you don't have any evidence of him not hitting Heather, so technically, you're wrong. You, I mean, well, then technically, oh, here, you're, here, wrong. you're here. Yeah. Uh, no. That mean that technically you're wrong. There we go. No, I, 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 I guess we can agree to this. Hey, thing, so. one second, one second, one second. Tell me, hot. Hold on, shit. Now I got to replay it. Listen, okay, uh, I mean, if, if this isn't enough evidence, I, I don't know what it is. Oh, shit, misclick. Um. Just is this the same to video that we just watched like 30 minutes ago? Just listen no, to I never would hurt. The bitch held me hostage, and I had no choice but to put my hands on her to get her the fuck out of the way. I mean, come on, man. Oh, dude, he, well, he's claiming that Charlie doesn't sell enough beat up his dad. What do you predicate that on, Stanley? The fact that Charlie's dad has fucking forced a restraining order and thrown a fucking charge at him and then also it is on the paperwork that charlie's dad has filed it cyrus has been arrested for uh choking his mother out and that's on paperwork there's a police report of that i mean have you not seen that Uh, yeah uh, we couldn't find it Stanley, stanley ignorance is not an excuse yeah, you're really your Cyrax really is rubbing off on you. So you're gonna basically support him and his stolen music and just say, "Oh, I didn't know it was stolen." So I mean, you know, who cares? You kind of see how this got onto some different shit. Now it went to you know the. No, Stanley. Stanley. So, Stanley, who's to say that? Who's to say that, 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 who's to say that Charlie's dad isn't lying? You're claiming that Heather was lying about being choked, and his grandmother is being lying about being choked. Who's to say that Charlie's dad? So you can't really claim anything. Show me dead. a piece of paperwork that says that the fucking we that have the, it. We have it. Uh, Schneckel, I mean, like, I'm not sure if you have it on hand, but show me. We're having trouble trying to come across it. Show me the police report? Yes. Uh, I'm not sure we can dig it up. I mean, it's All definitely right. out there. But it won't yeah, matter. Through this, retard will, this retard will say that the cops framed him. I mean, you know. Right. Yeah. But, okay, so isn't it weird when I say the first thing I brought up was why do you hate him? And you said, oh, I tried to make a support discord about him. But he asked for pictures of my girlfriend, and that's what makes me hate him. But well, your initial response was, sure, I'll send you pictures of her. But then you said it pictures. was a troll. He said, sure, he would send a pic so he could send So it was a troll. So who's to say that the whole your fucking friend died yeah. thing in a troll? Oh, you're man. a retard. You definitely yeah, haven't yeah, done yeah. your research, man. You really yeah. haven't done your fucking research. I'm just research, saying, have you? y'all said this dude. It's the same thing as, oh, he sent me a picture okay, of his why, ass. Yeah, why don't you ask your family, you fucking him. idiot? Dude, this guy is. is Somebody catfished yeah, I mean, him yeah, in the center. Yeah, you, you yes, literally haven't done your research. Chamber. Echo chamber. It's an echo chamber. Yeah, you're, sorry about that. You're guy, in love. But, Are you and Cam Time gonna fight over Cyrex? Yeah, this guy is like, in love with the guy. Oh, like, oh, he can't oh, do any wrong. Yeah. Uh, you know, I'm sorry. I mean, it, you it, like don't y'all think the stuff. same way? Don't y'all think yeah. the same way? Don't everybody in here just act No, whatever. not at all, man. You just seem like all off, Stanley. So, so what do you have to say? I mean, you you have no credibility. Oh yeah. But if I came in here and said what y'all said, dude, I'd be the fucking number one supporter of y'all and be. Dude, I don't, do this. I don't do this for support. Support. I don't do this for fans. I don't do this in hopes of getting sure my money. Don't. Sure. No, I, don't. I really yeah, don't. You really haven't done any research, man. Yeah. You just jumped into this with fucking blinders on, huh? That's yeah. what you love to say, right? How about you? No, just, that's the truth. Like, don't, you don't, you, you have no clue. Research, you really do. And come back in a week after you've done some digging because this is just moronic. Yeah. Block me for the seventh time, man, and just, you know, act yeah. like the same way Cyrex and other people do. The is we all seen the facts, and that's the truth, Stanley. You're just ignorant. And ignorant. He's in love is what it facts, is. The fact fact. Uh, well, the only thing, I mean, he seems to be in love with Marty. Uh, uh, Marty blocked him a few times, and he, and, uh, and he keeps on coming back to spit false facts. Yeah. Yeah, which is another thing that is my yeah, point. Turn your camera on, man. Dude, I really got to see what you fucking look like. I got to see, see your face. face. I got to see your fucking time. face, man. I've seen this guy. Stanley, I'll turn mine on. So you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't, 
Please turn your camera on, dude. I got to see what you're doing. Five seven, pale white wigger. I've seen the guy before. So you basically, and him, time and and him will have a nice. No, I'm just, saying, I, I'm just saying this guy wants to see you, and I have, and I'm describing you. Oh team. no, without a doubt, bro. I'll let you speak. You know what you've seen or whatever. I'm a white wigger, supposedly. You know, so. Are you, are just, you not? Oh five, yeah, you are. Five eight? Eight? Are you not five eight, Stanley? Uh, no, I'm not, man. But I supposedly am a white wigger, and I'm five I'm eight. So I'll let yeah, you. He, well, this guy's a failed rapper, like Sardax. He used to go by the name oh. Rick Robinson. It's kind of making oh, sense. Oh, yeah. that makes a bit more sense now. Yeah. He like he's trying to use Cyrax to fuck it. Okay, that makes a bit more yeah. sense. Now. He's yeah. pulling what it a makes crypt. a lot he's of sense. Crypt K. He thinks so. he's pulling the Crip K right now. Okay, exactly. exactly. Oh wow, Cyrax makes. You it are a retard, bro. You really have not done any research. I know, but yeah, I know he has. Is it, oh, wasn't Crip K for which all for like a where minute though? From, where are you from? Uh, what's his name? Stanley. I'm from Michigan. Yeah. No, you're not. You. Oh my fan. God! Please yeah, don't say it, you're from Michigan. Uh, what a coincidence! Where up north are you from? Because you're Stanley. Definitely did you not name your dog after a WNBA player? Where up north are you from? It's bro? Not a WNBA player, but I am from Michigan. No, what a, where up north are you from? What Stanley, city Stanley, are you Stanley, your dog was named after Maya Michigan? Moore. Am I, am I wrong about that, Stanley? No, not Maya Moore. I have a dog named Rose and a dog named Kobe, named after Derrick Rosen and Kobe Bryant. Stanley. Oh, what a! Did have a female dog. Where are you from, Stanley? Traverse City, where are you at? Mackinac, no, I'm from the west side at? of Detroit, bro. Six miles. No, you're not. You are not on the north. west side, you faggot. They would eat you alive, bitch. You are not on the west side of Detroit. What it's part of Detroit? Not, what part of the west side? Which, the where west side. are you at? Six what part Name some cross Six and Evergreen. Six and Evergreen. Six and Evergreen. Six, and Evergreen. Six mile and Evergreen. Six mile where all the fucking trannies and faggots hang out. That makes sense. That makes okay, sense. but if I said that seven in Nick, Nick if I said miles. seven in Greenfield, you'd say the same thing. You are six with the faggots and trannies. That makes sense. Okay. okay. That makes sense. What Maybe you are on the west side over there. Know. That makes sense. Okay. Is that a fast okay. mile? Okay. Come over to Bright. Yeah, no, that's the fucking faggot strip, six mile. That's where the faggots You said go, come right? over to Brightmore? Yeah, come on over to Brightmore, bitch. Like, you, you the would not, you, they would eat you alive over here. You, They would eat you alive over here, dude. Where the bikers are running shit and where you got the Bikers? Yeah. You don't know shit about Detroit. You ain't from all right, man. You stay on Six Mile, man. You're good over there. Just stay over on Six Mile, bro. You're safer over there. I promise you. Just stay over there. Okay, what cross stay streets there, are Brightmore? Stay, stay over there, man. Stay with the fags. Stay with the fags and trannies, man. For real. What cross You're... streets are Brightmore in? You're safe. What cross streets are Brightmore in? Well, you know the bikers run it, right? You know. I I named you my cross street. What cross street? It are don't Brightmore. matter, man. The bikers run it. You already know. So stay <laughs> over there with the fags, man. I'm telling you, you're so much. Look safer. at that, man. I so guess I safer. wasn't from there, but then you so said I was safer. there because I named a certain cross street. This is just pretty much like what, it, what is your name out there? Like Pebbles or like what do they call you? Never, man. That would just be brought up you in some doubts. Were you not mm -hmm. under the name Rick Robinson as well? Oh, I was under you that know, name, Rick Robinson, when I first came on there to fuck with Charlie and shit. Oh, right? my God, dude. This makes so much sense, dude. I'm telling you, he's a fat guy. I'm not I even know. joking. I'm telling that's you, where dude, they I'm all. Telling I'm telling you, man, that's the area. What a faggot. I yeah, hear I you. I had boys, no doubt man, it bad. makes so much sense. Man. <laughs> you ever talked to name? the one before? You ever talked to, you ever talked to him? He interview you yet? To who? <laughs> Never mind. I'm sure you'll run into him. I couldn't hear the name though. <laughs> no, no, it don't matter, man. You're good. You're good. Okay. That's yeah, dude. That makes so much sense though. He's six and everything. Okay. <laughs> what is, I mean that's so fucking sad, man. I never like I I mean I've seen him on the streets, but I've never ran into one on like YouTube before. That's fucking crazy. But you act like I said telegraph where all the real trannies and hookers at though. Okay, uh, here's a quote. Today the area far else from. Today, the area around six miles it's has six remained miles, the gay it's community. Six miles now. Yep. yep well, no, yep. but bro, the real trannies is out there on eight mile. No. You would know, you would know dude. It's all good, well, man. Of course, I would Don't know be because... where you're from, man. I mean, that's where you're from and shit. But... I'm not. I just told you where I'm from. Right. I'm saying, don't be embarrassed about it. I mean, it's where you live and what? shit, man. And there's nothing to be embarrassed about. I mean, you you live but with the when, people. When you live I with, said it, you, know? you said that. Oh shit! You must not be from there. I tell you where I'm at, and then you hey, say, like, "Oh shit!" That proves that you are from there. Shaving your ass on a live stream. 
<laughs> oh, without a doubt. So that I can porn bomb this dude named American Dream and then get him off YouTube because he's a Whoa. fucking bum. Oh, you just use porn. Whoa. Oh, because I've done that as well. Uh, I mean, uh, I don't want to see your ass, sir. You know, but why would you right. shit? Would, I'm why telling you, man. Yeah, you, man. You all think I'm yeah. bullshit. I'm just trying to be yeah. mean or troll, but it's the goddamn truth. I'm telling yeah, you. You just, I mean, so you live in the transsexual neighborhood of your village, and you shave your ass to show your men on the line. Hey, uh, you out, think right? this is you your dog hey, after dog? Do you was saying you don't know where this and such and such is at, but then he named dog right. Dog no, I know, I know where it's at. I know where it's at, man. What do you mean? I'm I'm saying I know where the fucking shit is. So at. do you you as in Brightmore, bro? You probably live in Rosedale Park, though. Yeah. No, not at all. No. Schmeckle, have you ever shaved your ass? And, and God no, man. Fuck life? no. I don't even shave my balls, dude. <laughs> Fuck that. Why would I shave my ass? That's some fucking fag shit. I don't want no man eating me out. What the fuck would I care? You see what where we went, is? though, bro? To a man who said that I, I got to see what you look like. But then somebody said, I've seen what he looks like. He's a white wigger. But then the yeah, dude said, the 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 and then he realized and I'm not even interested that. anymore for you to put your camera on, man. I know where you're from and probably what you're about. And I, I'm not interested. Right. Go over to Tony but stream. You go, see go how it to just Tony went stream from... Stage, man. Oh, you yeah. see how it went from yeah. oh shit, I gotta see what you look like to well, where are you from? To you're not from there. To oh shit, you are from there, but you are a fucking. A Did you right. Right. Yeah, yeah, it's good you can keep up with the conversation, man. It's really good you're able to keep up with the conversation. Um, I, mean, I think you're a very smart guy for being able to. Uh, the point yeah. being is I didn't think you were from Michigan. You said you were from Detroit, and you said from the fat part of Detroit. That's why I'm like I'm good. I don't even care about seeing your fucking camera anymore, bro. And like you, you're like fucking in Trannyville and like Fagville and shit. I'm I'm not interested, dude. I'm good. So I probably I know what you look like. You know, I should have said East Side then, right? Because no, that no, it doesn't matter where you said, man. You said where you said you're from. The East Side don't matter. They got fags over there too. Six Mile is the gay strip, man. That's what I'm saying, dude. Point blank, Hot, East Side, West Side. Ferndale you're a fucking fag for going cap, over there, bro. dude. Ferndale is the gay capital of Michigan. That's the gay capital, but I'm saying that doesn't mean that's where other gay people don't hate. It's all good, man. You live where you live, bro. Hey, better you than me. That's all I'm saying, man. Better you than me, bro. Better you than me. Like that's all I'm saying. Just be realistic. Yeah, I am very realistic. Better you than me, dude. And shave your ass and send it to men on the internet. Yeah, dude. Oh, Why don't I'm you sorry. go su suck on some pickles and shit, man? Send yeah, some pickles. So pickles. I sent or I shaved my ass on a video or whatever. But does that make you saying that you're into butt stuff and catfish and Cyrax so that Cyrax Cyrax. can send you a picture of him? Does that, Cyrax, does that quantify as the same thing? Well, I'm trying to answer your question. I didn't catfish him. It was sent to me. Okay, but you getting sent those pictures and showing it and being like, ha, 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 that's funny. And seeing a picture of Cyrax with his asshole. Difference. I'm not the one showing my ass to men on the internet. You and his brother would have gotten along real fucking well. Yeah, but yeah, this is what I'm saying. So disrespect the dead, then I guess, right? Disrespect the dead, then I just said you'd get along with his brother. How is that disrespectful, man? You are slow. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So What's you're making fun of the dude. That? So by brother, I imagine you mean the dude who had the tribute page made and that people was on there saying correct. Just saying that you're both of the same lifestyle, like music, and you probably would have gotten along. You guys would have exactly. gotten along well together, you know. But you know, we, were that, you know. About, we were speaking about quote unquote gay stuff, and then you said that you and him would have got along. Right. Yeah. Well, you put two and two together. That's on you, man. If you got fag shit on your mind, that's on you. Right. right. So, so you, put, you yeah, that's not, on you. Uh, you put those two together, not me. Man, you this is them. man, you super cool for making fun of somebody who went here, bro. And you're like, oh, you're a thousand percent making fun of the dead, bro. How do we know the person is dead? Let me see a morgue, a corpse, a fucking um, autopsy. Let me get the funeral footage. I won't believe they're dead. I mean, come on, man, open your fucking eyes. You're a moron. <laughs> you and Cyrex are delusional, dude. Like, you definitely belong together. Definitely belong together. They both failed rappers. Why don't you take the four hour trip? And go hang out with them. Seriously, like you guys belong together. I wouldn't do that, man. Because Why? what's in it? What's in it? What do you mean? What's in it, man? You see, he's like your fucking hero. What do you mean? <laughs> what I, do you mean? What's in it? I've never said that he is my hero. Yeah, I'm, I'm saying, you, 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 
somebody and you'd be like, you know what? Let me see the murder weapon and smell it. Let me see if his fingerprints are on it. I mean, you, you can't do no wrong in your eyes. That's that's cute, man. That's cute. You yeah, got like awesome, man, man, you wouldn't do no wrong, wrong, but everything I've been I've been presented so far is like open your food. fucking eyes, man. I, 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 I don't. Where did you go to? Where did you graduate from? I mean, where, did you graduate school? Job Corps. Yeah, did, did you not. go to Job Corps? A lot of people over here do go over there. I mean, were you in Job Corps? Job Corps, man. Where'd you graduate from? You still running uh, with the Empire, Rick Robinson? No, nah, bro. I went to WC three for two years, and then I went to Calvin University for the last two years. Calvin University. Yeah, it's one of the top linguistic colleges in Michigan, bro. So if you was from Michigan, maybe you would know that. So you know. Yeah, no, maybe U of M. That's like the top school over here. Uh, U of M. Not uh, linguistics, Eastern. man. Uh, you can no. search up Calvin University, Michigan. It's in there, bro. But, you know, since you know all about top six school. mile and everything and shit, bro. Yeah, and linguistics, man. You can search up top linguistics schools in Michigan. And Calvin University would be one of them. But, man, Six and Evergreen, that's some shit you know about. Brightmore, that's some shit you know about. Well, here's, what, here's what we that's do what know, know about. Here's about. what we do know about. <laughs> You're defending a, a man's asshole. It, it's clear that you have so much in common with Cyrax. You're both failed rappers. You're both very short men. You both show your asshole to men on the Internet. You know, I, I can see why that you, you're so quick to defend them. It makes perfect sense. So much in common. Very delusional. You probably lost Very people. Delusional. You know. There you go. Making fun of, you know, saying you probably lost people. You probably That's have. Cool, depending on what you live, depending on what you rock with. It, it all adds up, dude. Uh, you know. It does now, man. It's very you still cool. rapping these days? Uh, no, I don't, man. Well, that's uh, good. At least, at least you were able to see that you were a failure at it and moved on, unlike your uh, butt buddy there. Just you say that with no uh, clear, you know. Try and fail and try and fail and try and fail. Like, yeah, at least you, at least you were able to fucking realize. I mean, that's yeah. one thing you got going for you. Yeah, I probably guess so, man. Just like I'm some white wigger from and all this other stuff that you guys well, said. I know a lot about you. I mean, found out that I was from that guy and. I so wasn't from there, but I am from there. I was that guy. Like, I'm not like, that a, guy. like a queer, I don't know about a wigger, but you definitely got the uh, got the six mile touch to you. I will definitely say that. Um, oh, I guess I wasn't from there. I, what do you mean? Back when he was Rick Robinson, he came to run the Marijuana Empire. To be you, my friend. He used What's the other name for Six Mile, bro? <laughs> if somebody said they was from Six Mile, but they was past Telegraph, so Ricky, 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 yeah. called. Ricky, do you remember when you claimed you were a marijuana kingpin? I never said kingpin, bro. That's it, you ran a major grow operation, right? I never said major grow up. Was like but, a, a shipping, a grow or? But, but you said you traveled to and from Costa Rica on a private jet on a regular basis. I right? never said Costa Rica on a private jet. Bullshit. You absolutely did. So what are, you, what, are, what are your Costa Rican connections, Ricky? Let's hear about it. I've never been to Costa Rica. I've been mm -hmm. to Nicaragua on some regular travel type shit. I don't understand what this kingpin type shit is. That's I've what also claim, shown dude. that I have grown weed, which is completely legal in Michigan, and it is nothing strange about it. And mm -hmm. I've said that I went to China <laughs> and Japan for teaching ESL, which is English as a second language. Clearly, I you know I'm sure, but you denied being Rick Robinson the other day. I never said that I denied being him. I've said that that was a name that I went under hmm. when I first came on the internet. Yeah, well, I mean, I remember it, dude. You claimed to be a marijuana kingpin, and when you had money stored in Costa Rican banks, and it was all fucking. I you never know, you, dude. I never said that, dude. Do you remember the uh, Stacy Perlman or uh, Milo Gambino? We all laughed at you, bro. I do remember Milo because that's a person who I still talk to. And you're you're so cringe as cringe as fuck. He negates it. No, dude, no. I mean, you told some pretty tall tales, man. Uh, it's yeah. what I remember. Um, Just like you say I've, that I've been to Costa Rica and I'm a kingpin, but that's what you it's used videos to say. of me recently saying that I've never been there. Well, when okay. Tyree Sneed is say that I... Uh, will never been there. Hmm. So I don't know what you're saying. I've answered all your questions. I've 
you know, you've switched it and you've switched the conversation 30,000 times. Here's, here's Angel's Asylum saying, who knows you as well, uh, knows you well enough to know that you show your ass to men and you shave it for them. You also yeah. said you were a king, Rick Robinson. So, I mean, where there's smoke, there's fire, dude. Is that the same person that this dude named American Dream told shut up, cunt? And then I came on there and said the same thing, but she continues to flirt with American Dream. But, uh, you know. Well, I'm sorry that you guys have a troubled relationship, but she seems to know a lot about your ass and the kingpin stories. I guess you're still telling them. Yeah, because, bro, I guess Costa Rica's on my passport and all that other yeah, shit, right? I had a Cyrax right in my fucking backyard, oh. man. Crazy. Well, no, I'm just yep. saying, like, yep. I literally yep. answered the question Dude. that y'all hey, asked. Hey, you find me to ask. in the attic or a basement, or are you on the mid-level of your house? <laughs> you ever choke your are grandmother? You or the attic? There we go, switching the convo again, no, that's man. A quick, what, no, what do you mean? It, well, that's the, 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 the question. It's a question, man. What I is the question? That, do you live I in the basement or the attic I love of your the, house? I love the no, I live by myself in a two-bedroom house in Michigan right now, man. I live right off Six Mile and Telegraph right now. I don't live on Six and Evergreen no more because I don't live in Detroit anymore because I've kind of moved but, away from that. Oh, okay. So now you don't live there. Okay. Now that it was brought up. Okay. That's that's smart. Damn, dude, I got a Cyrex right in my backyard, boy. Yeah, I didn't man. even know it. Yeah. it it's, it's pretty amazing. I see what oh these guys God, like. Dude. You got a big boy steering wheel? Do you like e-racing? <laughs> I'm interested. Oh, man. Man. Do you like, you don't, you're not into it? Can you give me a rah, yeah. But you must, hey, what part of Brightmore are you in? Because you bring that up. What do you mean? What well, part answer, of the question. answer the question. Do you have a big question? Uh, no, wait, wait, wait. Come on, man. Let's not get off of this. Here's, here's, here's the subject. Let's, you went to the top, the top of business school. So from five in last year to five in Greenfield, bro, what part are you in? I Stanley, just told Stanley, I'm leaving you for one second because you're not listening. Seven Stanley, you, you study linguistics yeah. at the number one school in Michigan, and me. every word out of your mouth is bro. Does that make sense? Sounds like Kingpin Stanley is lying again. Dog water. Dog I've water. never said that I'm a king. Up, dog water, never bro. said that I've went to Costa Rica yeah. banks or blah blah blah. Yeah. And Costa Rica. We this come is going to turn into like yeah. Oakland Community College or Baker. It's not going to be. No, nah, I said WC three and then Calvin, bro. You can, like right. I said, you, you run it back and I said it. But, you don't live there you anymore. Know, you're from Michigan and you don't know what Calvin you, is. But you said you you said you lived in one area and now you're saying you don't live there anymore. Now no, you're I said I grew up on Six and Evergreen and I'm on Six and Telegraph, which is only two miles you away. But you know miles. Michigan, though, right? Leave the mile, man. You just stayed on that shit. No what one you, uh, you stayed on the mile knowing what it was about, man. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You're, you're right. School. You're into it. It's all good. This man. Is this school teacher say bro every other word out of your mouth. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if okay. you're teaching English to like Japanese students, I mean, you would have to have like some sort of like intelligence. Konnichiwa, uh, it's a difference between speaking regularly and then speaking in like a class in a teaching forum, bro. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm sure, bro. Bro, if you can help it for even a second. Uh, okay. If you could cut out of the air and speak just to demonstrate your proficiency and proclivity for the English language, I would love to hear your educational Stanley. Yeah, please. Yeah, I would love for you guys to actually. Us, uh, yeah, class. well, I think of us as, um, uh, well, as like the Japanese students. Yeah, uh, uh, Florida. I guess since you know about speaking English and getting taught it, or ESL or yeah. ESOL or getting TF, taught well, also getting taught. What level would you be at? Because it's different. This is what I'm saying, Sound it out, Stanley. Sound it out. You got this. <laughs> you got this. Compose yourself, Stanley. You can do it. Deep breath. Deep Compose breath. myself for what, Doc? Channel, channel your inner Rick Robinson and pretend you're on stage performing here. Uh, you know, it's night of the big show. Tomorrow you can deal with your kingpin Costa Rica business that even Angel or Asylum knows about. Um, it's, how would she know about that too? If because she was in dreams shit, and that's how I found out about Cyrax. I told you this two days ago. Again. 
Yeah, okay, but I didn't know that you were still telling your kingpin lies. <laughs> I never. Maybe you could like pinch from your stash and you know smoke a little. You know, I know it'll take away from your profits, but just you know smoke a joint, relax a little. Man, like you grow it yourself? No, right? You're from Michigan, I guess, man. Yeah, no, nope. you. Know. I'm from Akron, Ohio. Yeah, don't call it. Yeah. So why did you speak on knowing about six and Evergreen or six and Telegram? I'm, I'm from three three nine right Akron, Ohio. Why did you, you got speak me, dude. about? I don't, even, I don't even know anything about Michigan. Is that the one that looks like the mitten? Is that the is that the one that looks so, like the mitten with the rabbit? So why did you speak about that? But then when I spoke about it, you think no, I don't man, man, you must not fucking read hard. So you're just. Speaking about things that you don't know about, but I then you'll get know. echo oh, chambered, so right? Oh, Jesus Christ, you are fucking slow. You'll dude. get echo chambered by people who don't know anything Do you know about it. 339 Lloyd Akron. You don't even know who lives at 339 Akron. Your boyfriend lives there and you don't even know his address. You are a fucking. I dude. have no idea about anything to do with Ohio, bro. I'm not going to lie about it. So so why are you I fucking back in a fucking retard from Ohio? The only thing I know about Cedar Point. No, he's he's asking asking you about Cyrex. He's from Akron, Ohio. You really did not do any fucking research no. whatsoever. Why do? What do I have to know about where he lives at to know about what's you going on? You don't know on? anything about him. Is the point? Uh, clearly, you I don't, don't need know to know his address, though. Fucking what the fuck clueless. does that have to do with about it? Why would you? You just buy those fucking stocks because it has fun letters, right? Like the the letters, like the why do I have to know about where he lives? At? That's why you buy a stock. Why do I know about where he lives at? You don't know anything about him is the point, man. Yeah. You clearly don't know anything a fucking about him. So I need to, I need to know I need to know where he lives at this point. You speak from a position of authority or experience when you don't know a single thing. You don't know where he lives at, right? Well, you don't know a single thing about him. A single okay, where do you go to high school? Do you know that his I name just, is Vance what, Wilkin? What, what do you know about Cyrex? How about let's start there? You what, just what? asked me where he went to high school at. Where what do you know about Cyrex? Yeah, what do you know about him? That's, that's what type point. of creep would look into what high school he went to? Sarax talks about it all the time. Right, exactly. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. where he lives at. And, and his address. You, you, know Dog. you don't know anything about Sarax. No one looks into him. We watch him. You watch him and learn this shit. No one looks into it. I think it. he's just incapable of learning. It's what it's I do about. too, man. There's no fucking way. This is to amazing, I, man. Your ass was definitely at Job Corps getting fucking your shit taken, man. Your, your shit taken from oh, you. Know, yeah. Definitely a Job Corps, man. I don't believe this a uh, word this fucking guy says. He's like a Vadi. He's literally like a Vadi and a Cyrex in my yeah, backyard. He's like a, a fusion God. of the two for sure. He's uh, fucking retarded, dude. The rapper, autism off the charts. Um, gay tendencies. It's just... You know, a, a high body Cyrax creature. It's amazing. So, if somebody had, uh, you know, let's just say they was working at Job Corps. They was they working at Job Corps. Stanley, the economic Stanley. 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 I got to step away from this one for a second. Stanley, I'm muting you for a second here. I want to hear academic Stanley. No bras. What if they was, you know, I want to hear academic Stanley. The one who flies to China and teaches students. Why are you from here, dude? I can't do that because I'm speaking on something that I want to feel. Passionate about oh and God. tell you, you the dog, you are you. making fun of somebody who's clearly not oh on the same God. level as you, bro. Giving our fucking shit a bad name. Why can't you yeah, be? Well, I mean, you're the, you're you're the king, like, you're, 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 you're the rapper, you're all these things. Man. Mm. You're, all, you're putting ass. more names on me than what I am, so I appreciate it. Okay, that's cute. Put um, you saw the way out Sound young, Stanley. How old yeah. are you? Out of curiosity, I'm 29. 29. Okay, yeah, it's like six, seven years shorter than going to high school with me, man. I would have loved to have uh, <laughs> inter ran in with you, ran into you. But uh, you brought up Brightmore, man. So you must have went to the high school out there and shit, though, right? You must have went to Redford. No, that's I didn't. I didn't grow up there. That's just where I live now. It's funny that a guy claims that he flies to from China. To teach Chinese kids English as a second I've language. Never said to and from. To and from makes it sound like I'm going there weekly. I never I said that. At all is my point because you can't even speak English like a proper human being. Why would they hire you to teach them? Speaking English? to you in a regular basis, bro. I'm speaking to well, you just on some normal shit. shit. I want to hear academic Stanley. Yeah, man, and I want to hear you be unbiased towards Cyrex, but we're not going to get that, though, are we? You're not going to get that towards Charlie Zone off from you, so I, no, absolutely not. Oh, I've been I told you that, dog, I've given up on Charlie 
about a month ago. I you're simping for Cyrax instead. I would say you're better spent focusing on Zelenoff. He's, you know, yeah, more up your, your alley because you don't even care enough about Cyrax to do your research to know what you're talking about. Yeah. So, I mean, so I guess that means that I should know where he's from and what high yeah, school he's sure. no, from. I, I mean, what street he lives up. on and what his weight is and what he eats in a day. And he he's pockets, like, 100 pounds. I mean, yeah, I mean under 100, actually, because yeah, he's put stones in his pockets. You guys literally know this dude's pretty much dating profile. Um, More or less. You don't find that gay? Dude, no, you're the one saving your ass for men, dude. You're the fucking gay. An asshole and well, I'm just saying, like, you dudes know. I was gay. Y'all know this dude's fucking weight, what he eats, what he prefers. Y'all send this dude pictures of y'all dick so that he sends y'all pictures of asshole. Y'all promote it and is show you, is it. That you it. Is, is that what you got? Send it to each other and say, yeah. you're, oh, the look, sending men. You're, the, you're the only one sending men your naked body. Yeah, is, is that what you did to get him to send you his asshole? Did you send him dick pics? Is that what it's Oh, no. Uh, like I said, that whole shit that y'all talking about is... A dude named American Dream, which I'm is I'm talking where... about Cyrex. I'm talking about Cyrex. What did you do for him to send you his butthole picture? He never sent me that. I don't see what you're getting at, so that kind of just oh, deflates okay. the purpose oh, of it. Seemed like you, you knew how to get like pictures out of him. Like I've never sent him dick pics to get a picture, but you, you seem like to know how to get it done really good. There. Okay, I wonder oh. what Stanley has to think about Tony here. Let's see what how Stanley reacts. To no, he's probably he'll probably support him. I'm sure. Tony, come up, come up here. Uh, we want to see how Stanley responds to you. Um, this is a guy who has claimed he has a hard drive with underage girls on it. Oh, there goes Stanley. He's going to say that I kicked him. It didn't happen. What um, a bitch, dude. The things are making yeah. so much sense. This guy's a fucking weirdo, but like, I get it now where he's from. Um, I didn't know I had a Cyrex in my backyard here, boys. This uh, makes sense here. This makes sense. Stanley is lost without Charlie. He's looking for it. <laughs> Yeah. How are you, Stanley? Today? I'm gonna give you advice. <laughs> These guys aren't <laughs> worth your time. This guy's just, guy, just coming from a motherfucker. Shut up, Michael Katz. I'm telling the Stanley. Rallies. These two guys from the aren't feds worth your time. Because he's a Stanley. fucking pedophile. All they're fucking Take doing is trolling Cyrax. Tony, where's and the hard the pedophile? Shut advice. up, Stanley. Pedoph Shut up, Speckle Cat. I'm telling Stanley. Take some these advice, two guys smart. aren't worth your Sounds time, like he's Stanley. Got COVID. Just Take his leave. He's smart. Yeah. That's all I'm giving you, Stanley. Yeah. Just yeah. leave. Yeah. Take these the guys aren't worth your advice, time, Stanley. Good. Stanley. Good fucking I'm good. telling you right now, Stanley. Tony, all Stanley you're doing is first. talking to. Yeah. Yeah. Tony, <laughs> tell Stanley why you want to stuff up because guy hates him because he's a pedophile. Yeah, that's why he made you sick. You can't walk still, can you, Tony? Your brain ain't working Just with your legs. Leave, that means your brain ain't fixed. These two that guys it, aren't worth your time. Tony, your these brain ain't working with your legs, these is guys it? Aren't that means your brain time, ain't healed Stanley. yet from church, Just Tony. Leave. Go to church, Tony. <laughs> Get healed, Tony. Start walking with your fucking legs, Tony. No one can hear what the fuck you're saying, Tony, because you're a pedophile. Jesus. Retard. Sorry, I had to fucking do that, uh, Marty. Uh, I know you may have wanted to talk to him, but... Oh, wow. And Stanley, it sucks. To, like, it sucks that you can't be honest here. Um, and because I guess Cyrax is going live right oh now. My oh Stanley. my God! Yes, we have to see this. Yeah, like Stanley, if you want to talk about this, I mean, come come back tomorrow. There's breaking Cyrax news here. You're at an elementary level. You need to step your game up and become more active with Cyrax. You want to yeah. discuss them? You know, I, listen. Nice trolling. You know, you agitate me. You're annoying. I still think you're a retard. Solid yeah. trolling though. Um, but Cyrax is about to go live here, and that is what we do here. We we, we follow the celebrity that is Cyrax. Yeah. Um, yeah. You're not being attention. Cool. I mean, like, like uh, uh, you've seen the asshole pics, right? I mean, not sure. Oh, unfortunately. I'm fucking fortunate. Oh, yeah. yeah. So Cyrax is going to prove that those pictures are actually not him. Oh, okay. And I'm curious as to what he's going to say. Is he going to show us his asshole and let us compare? <laughs> yeah, I guess so. I mean, yeah, I guess he'd have to, wouldn't he? That's the only way. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Guess what? That wasn't Those my asshole pot, pics. It was Yeah, sure, they were mine. But I was going to place you in jail if you were going to upload those to the fucking internet. 
Guess what? They were Sally's ass. Have you seen the asshole pictures? Uh, no, and I'm not trying to see another man's asshole. Okay, well, then I guess you're not really uh, qualified to discuss this. Yeah, uh, goodbye. Probability. So, yeah. Uh, come back and you've seen the asshole. Yeah. All right, there we go. Uh, oh, whoa. Oh, so I guess Cyrax, yeah, he's about to go live right here to say that Tyler and Y was, um, wow. Um, <laughs> yeah. I guess I shouldn't be reading that. I'm going to have to type this in the private chat <coughs> here. This is going to be a mind blowing. Yeah. Um, I thought that he was staying off YouTube for a while, but I guess it was less than an hour. Jesus Christ, did he? Yeah, in one of his videos today, he said he made, uh, he put one of his videos on a um, on a suicide awareness thing, and I told you that's what he was doing when he made that pity of that pity video the other wow. day. He put it up somewhere, and sure enough, he said he put it on a suicide awareness uh, website to, to try and get the story out about music. This Marty setting the rope. Uh, yeah, because the police won't do anything about it. The FBI won't do anything about it. So now he's reaching out to anywhere he fucking can. Dude, I did not send any fucking rope. I uh, what a wacky world this is. Damn, I got me a Cyrax in my backyard, man. It just boggles my mind right now. Oh, here he goes. Here he goes. Here you know what? I might as well just bring up this picture of something related. Uh, I give a major shout out to the big motherfucking homie Stan holding it down, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Thank you. 100% to Stan holding it down, dog. Straight up. I love you. Look at, look at those straight. I, I see everything, Cyrax. Oh, Jesus. Well, even though I don't know you, man, I appreciate what you're doing, bro. 100%. But, Marty, Stan's <laughs> right, dude. This has got to end. You never said that. Though. <laughs> it has to end right here, right now. Well, the only way it ends, Cyrax, is if you come on and talk like a human being and don't do what you always do. That's the only way. That's Cyrax. fair. That's fair. It's going to be reported. So what? The entire channel is going to be reported, and you are going to be taken down. Damn. Fuck you, Cyrax. See, because of you, I have been put in a very bad state of mind over the past few months. And at one point in my life, because of you, over the last few months, actually dating back last year, not even a few months ago, because of you, Marty, I've almost taken my life twice. Third time twice in a row, I was on the edge because of what you've been doing to me. Another thing you can't finish. You know what stopped me? It was my friends and family that care. Those same people that you bullied and put down are the same You're ones welcome. that reached out to me and saved my fucking life. Brittany. DeMarco. DeMarco. Yeah. So, Marty, I'm telling you this right now. I am done. You're dumb? Is that what he's saying? I am dumb. <laughs> yeah. I'm not doing it. And you want to know why, Spanky? Because I know that's a bald faced lie. You want to know how I know? Look at the last time I got up on his panel and spoke to him. Yeah, so I actually flipped out. You yelled at him. He, he, he still continued it. Like I said, Marty, I don't need to be up on your fucking panel. I'll go on you, yours. You don't have one. That's the only way it sounds. I guess you don't want it. I think you should destroy the rope so we can't keep bringing it up. Or we're going to support it in three months. Well, Cam Time, I'm sorry that you've engaged uh, and involved yourself into this because I got something for you. <laughs> <laughs> you, you fucked up, Cam Time. Can somebody go over there and tell Cam Time that he just fucked up? And don't worry about it. 
Like, I'm doing way better now. Like I'm in a much better place now than I was. So don't worry, man. I'm in a much better place than I was. A much better place. <laughs> Oh man, I mean, like, what's the issue with oh, camp time? Say, Marty, I'm ending this war between me and you right here, right and now, right now, tonight. Nope, not. Oh, not, okay. Well, that's yeah. a good thing, actually, because you know, if someone can convince them to come up here to end the war, I'm, being I'm sure attacked yeah. by you. My family, my friends are done being attacked by Let's you. Let's hundo. Yep. Uh, this war is ending two nights, right now. Nope. So everyone in the chat, fuck that. You can talk want to Marty more like a man. The report. <laughs> so he's telling people to report you, but yet he wants to end the war. That makes no fucking sense. Right, right. I want you to report. Okay. The channel. <laughs> That's just grounds for fucking war, you retard. Yeah. Every last one of you report his channel and get that shit <laughs> taken. Yeah, yeah, I want the war to end, but I want mm. once and for all. This ends tonight. Fuck yeah. I'm ending it. It's not going to work. Jesus. I'm not gonna be held back it. by you anymore. Huh. I refuse. <laughs> To be held down by the likes of you. You want to be held down by Cam Pine and Stanley. Jesus, look at the top of that head. Oh, trust me, Tange. He's not going to do that, babe. <laughs> babe. Like I said. Give us a smile, Cyrex. See them pearly whites. <laughs> <laughs> Be prepared for what? The end of the war? Because your channel is going down. <laughs> <laughs> Since I hopped off the last stream, I've been reporting the fuck out of it myself. <laughs> and it's fine, Tange. Don't worry, babe. I totally well, get it. Flag is uh, only way to the termination of your account. I totally get where you're coming yeah. from, man. But like I said, he wants me that badly. Come and get me. I'm right here. <laughs> and I'm ending this. <laughs> Who's right is it? You want to come after me while I'm right here? Right. I'll be waving the white flag. Here, right now. Yo! Yo! <laughs> and the, and so the circle. Saying, all of you in the stream right now, I'll go through this again. With every trigger, I'm getting rich. I'm getting rich. I didn't. I didn't. <laughs> oh, so. Nobody else deserves to be bullied either. And I don't want someone else to suffer the same thing. Oh, pardon me. I don't want someone <laughs> to suffer the same fate that I suffered. No oh, one deserves dude. to be bullied. Oh, raped by their father, raped in high school, said made yeah. 75 cents in 10 years. I agree, Cyrus. No one deserves that. I concur. <laughs> no one deserves to be bullied, especially not by somebody like Marty or his friends. Hmm. Let's start this movement of positivity by bringing down <laughs> one of the worst bullies on the internet. Wow. Let's make a change of positivity. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's an honor almost. Let's bring that change. It's kind of sad that he's went from reporting to the FBI and the, the police to you. <laughs> Uh, right now, down to YouTube. Yeah, it's not going to go like you guys. <coughs> oh, 
It's the FBI and police know that he's a joke. Right, he's a YouTuber. Guys. But I'm ready for a better change. I'm ready to make a better channel, take this channel in the correct direction that it needs. Stop stealing music. And I also want to give a huge, huge, huge shout out to my friends of the Dark Order who have been reporting his channel as well. What is the Dark Order? Thank you guys. I have no idea. He's been bringing it up lately. Yeah. The Dark Order. The Dark Order, yeah. I guess Maybe it's the professional wrestling team. The Shadow Demon is in charge of the Dark Order. Shadow Blade is coming back soon. Yeah, it seems to be like a, a professional wrestling thing. Um, what you don't know about this, Tyler? Uh, uh, so the Dark Order. Yeah. Well, you know, I watch wrestling for uh, from time to time. That does sound like an interesting group. That it it reminds me of. Hold on, let me try to search it up really quick. Is it not like a group in like the wrestling? Yeah, yeah. Um, the Dark Order. Yeah, oh, yeah, apparently, yeah, apparently, yeah, yeah, apparently the group was led by a guy named Mr. Brody Lee, but he died on December 26th of 2020. <laughs> Last year. Yeah. Oh, wow. So I guess it's not going so well. It truly is Dark Order. Yeah, um, maybe Cyrex. I, I, I don't want what he ordered. Fuck that. No, no, no. Okay. You guys. You guys are freaking amazing. Freaking awesome. Exactly. Oh, he won't, Tange. If anything, he'll retaliate on me. No, he won't, Snickers. If anything, he'll go after me, not her. So, like I said, I'm and it starts with taking down the worst bully of all, Marty. <laughs> Marty. Marty. <laughs> and it also starts with Snickers fan going away. Snickers fan. <laughs> Marty. Marty. You're a Snickers fan, obviously, Cyrix. You got a dollar I can get? Don't him. worry, hon. He's not going to go after you. I promise you that. You're goddamn right I am, Cyrex. You just I revealed your Achilles you heel. He's not going to go after you. Caitlin. DeMarco. Jenny. Joey. DeMarco. DeMarco. And Marty, you want somebody? Come get me, you fucking bitch. Okay, well, can somebody tell him to post a link? Step up to someone your own size, you coward. Cyrex, well, are you, you my size? You have to get on your knees to be on Cyrex's level. Uh, <coughs> yeah. I'm right here, Marty. Come and get me. You little punk ass. Fine, we'll post the link, fat, Cyrex. Oompa Loompa, overweight, reject, backwoods looking motherfucker. Oh, wow. Oh, You're the bully, Cyrex. You're the you biggest want me. Come get me, you piece of trash. I'm right here. I guarantee you, I have the high ground. How? Oh, because you're in the attic? <laughs> I have the high ground, Marty. And you're running around scared. Yeah, terrified. You're running around scared because you know you're caught. With what? The rope, Marty. You sent it. You sent it. <laughs> you're running around scared, looking for any way to go after people because you know you're caught. Do so I'm gonna end this. I'm gonna end this stream slash video with this right here, 
right now. So I thought you were, you were right there, Cyrax. I thought you were going to stand and. Your days are numbered, Marty. Your bullying days are over. I don't think this is bullying. Exposing? Your bullying days are over, yeah. Marty. You can't say I'm right here and then talk to me. I'm not going to let you go after anyone ever again. Except for you. He won't do anything, Tish. He doesn't have that kind of power. Why? Because she's not an ADIQ midget? <laughs> Probably. So Probably like not. I said, Marty... Your days are done. Oh, this this comment is killing me here. I thought you were going to prove it real. Your days of bullying people like myself and Tangerine and other people are over. Okay. Face it, Marty. You're done. <laughs> Your days of bullying people are finished. I'm not going to let you bully anyone ever again. So I say this not just as a YouTuber, not just as... Look, look, look at his hair back here today. Looks like that. A musician, as a fucking human being. <laughs> to all the scarred ones out there. All of you out there, if you're hearing this right now, let's report his channel and bring him down and bring about that change. Because hmm. you guys, the scarred ones, the Cyrax Nation, you guys are the change. Hmm. You guys are the change that we need. <laughs> okay. So let's bring about that change and let's bring this bully down once and for all so that no one has to suffer ever again. Stay up. Stay positive and don't let anybody throw any kind of shade at you. If someone is bullying you, you stand up and you face them and you tell them that That's you're not what you're doing right now, sir. That's you're running away. Don't let anyone bring you down. Peace. I fucking love you guys. The Cyrax <laughs> Nation, the scarred ones. I fucking love every single one of you guys. Every one of you motherfuckers is family to me. Yeah. Every last one of you means every fucking thing to me. So let's bring this bully down, guys. Did you see the lighting change there? Look at this. To me. So let's bring this bully down, guys. It's every fucking thing to me. So let's bring this bully down, guys. And let's show them what the scarred ones and the anti-bullying movement is really about. You got it, Let's show what we can do when we come together. Let's well, unfortunately, we have your asshole pictures. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I wish your cheeks what, were... What a, what a response. Yeah. Down. Peace. And this bullying. So no one else has to suffer. Let's do it. Oh, my God, dude. <laughs> is it Peace, y'all. Yow! <laughs> Let's bring that change to fruition, guys. Let's Peace. bring about a better place here on this platform. <laughs> now, when I say go and I end this stream, <laughs> the minute I, I want every one of you to go over there <laughs> and report the can't wait five minutes. <laughs> yeah. Soon as I'm going to count down. <laughs> Three, two, Three, one. 
Report. Two. Oh my god, no way. <laughs> Are you serious? Go. <laughs> 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 well, Mario, let's see what happens. Green light. Go, guys. E-race. <laughs> go. Don't crash into the barriers. Don't wall tap anybody. Just go report. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. I was just happened? kidding. What just happened? He, I was just kidding around. I, know he, I go, he's just going to count down and tell everyone to go report. And then all of a sudden, he's like, three, <laughs> two, one. Oh. <laughs> when I hit the screen, the minute I end it, I want everyone to I was just trolling. I know. Are you guys ready? Three. <laughs> I can't Three. We did this. Two. Two. <laughs> Report. <laughs> Go! Go! <laughs> are we still alive? Are we okay? Are we still, are we still alive on YouTube? Did we take it now? Go! <laughs> oh my god, my stomach hurts. Jesus. Oh, well, man. what an engine. <laughs> Only caught the well, tail. Boy, I think the channel's gonna be gone by tonight. Yeah, this so, is a good. I mean, final it really stream. could. It really could be, to be honest. But um, good final uh, stream. Boy. Yeah, uh, it's been nice having you guys all here. Um, I it doesn't matter if Cyrix shuts this one down. I'll just make another one, and he'll watch it. <laughs> Can the new and one be called "Chilling with the Boys" podcast? You got it. You got it. As long as as long as uh, one of you identifies as Bradley. That's Tyler. Okay. So you're a young fox? Uh, I'll tell you, I guess I'm a cat, so it makes sense. I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> all right. All right. So I'm Bratley, your young fox. Uh, Yo, you are 618, feeling great. Uh, the CWTB podcast was a massive success. Everyone knows it that. Was. I guess. I actually seen footage of it. It's still up somewhere. So I know if we had to recruit some people, young you're fox. Serious? I'd, he, you know, yeah, he's the ride or die guy. You'd be on our side. Uh, take the Stanley guy out. Um, I, where did this guy come from? I thought that was Kale at first. Like I caught the tail. You know, Marty. I sent you that message and shit. Like, oh yeah, yeah. tail end of the stream. I'm like, who, and then like, who the fuck is this guy? Who is this Stanley guy? Oh, dude. Um, I, so I, out of nowhere, or is that Kale? That's not Kale, right? Um, no, it's not Kale. You're not. You're not gonna believe this, but uh, uh we used to troll the same person like five years ago. Okay, I remember you talking about that on, on on the previous stream from this weekend, I believe. Yeah, and I guess he just materialized. Um, uh, I I wish, yeah. yeah, for sure. He's a retard. I wish he wasn't from here, man. He just, just, just like gives me a bad like taste in my mouth knowing he's he's from over here. Like he could have said and like any forty nine other state, but like now he just makes him like people like <laughs> over here like retards. Like it's just yeah, I wish yeah. he was somewhere else. <laughs> We're to believe that he travels to China to teach English as a second language, despite yeah, not being able to speak all whole English sentence. Yeah, no, not at all. I don't even think he graduated high school. He doesn't even sound like he graduated high school. But who am I to say, you know? I'm an yeah. idiot myself, so what do I know? Yeah, I don't like I don't know what to tell you. Um well yeah, I mean I pretty I, I guess that's pretty much it. Mind boggling, man. It was a good good stream, boys. Good run for music boobs, Marty guys. You know, um, hopefully, you can, you know, find the word of mouth, find his new channel. Um, you know, yeah, uh, you know, I'm, I'm definitely gonna be excited for tomorrow when I make a mockery of Cyrax by releasing a track with a stolen beat to it. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be screaming like he does. Uh, uh, extreme reverb, a lot of that, a lot of auto tune. Uh, <laughs> can you uh, can you link your channel so people know to subscribe to it? Um, I'm I'm gonna be uploading it on a separate channel. Uh, oh, for sure, for sure. Um, I'm a little disappointed, man. You know, I, I, I kind of have to, you know. But 
I do enjoy Snickers, and now I don't think I'm gonna really be yeah. partaking in one for a bit now. But um, I don't know. Maybe I do love them, but I'm just gonna have weird thoughts. Well, we're going like the channel right now, actually. Yeah, and yeah, actually, yeah. Um, I might just end by just like dropping like Cyrax related music on there. You should. Like, maybe I'll participate in it. Like you know, do a diss track or something. Cyrax won't drop the album. I'll do it for him. That's very <laughs> kind of you. There you go. There you go. Beautiful. That's what I like um, to hear. Yeah. <laughs> and Poor, um, and the best part is, I mean, I don't even have to try. You know, we start going. No, 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 no. <laughs> Everyone's like, "Oh, you guys aren't supporters." Like, clearly, man, people just don't see promotion supporters. Like he said, man, is that anything? It's just uh, support. Okay, so the channel's name is Cyrax's Dick, with Cyrax's <laughs> Dick with Cyrax's Dick as the profile picture. Let me link Ooh. it. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Uh, uh, as a matter of fact, I think the album might, uh, might be out by tomorrow. So yeah. Yeah. I mean, I don't want you to uh, to get in a sorry situation where you can't deliver <laughs> and you promise it, and instead of delivering, you just, you just play video games in front of the people who are going to buy your book. And yeah, you just uh, upload like one or two tracks instead of the whole album. Just don't finish it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe you can add some screenshots from Forza or some just nice car car screenshots to go with it, so we can get the book and the album at the same time. Hmm. Here's a sneak preview, guys. Yeah. Um. Shit right there. Tyler, can you, Mr. Bella? She has no idea what she's missed. Um. Can you explain it to her in a couple sentences? Quick rundown. Yeah. Just say, what should you say? That Cyrex spread his ass cheeks and it, and it caused him to step away from YouTube. But he also stepped right back into the fold. So he's he, back. Yeah, I mean, he stepped right back in. Just be absolutely demolished by my music skill, skills. <laughs> and he uh, ended up with Marty and then told them to come and get him. Well, here, I'll, po I'll post. Um, I can't show the actual butthole, but I can show where he says. Eating uh, the Snickers out of the ass of a tr or the transgender person was going to eat out his ass. Um, My only response to that was yikes. Yeah. What yeah, the fuck? Yeah. Was the transgender person Stanley? I mean, that would make sense. <laughs> Probably, man. Probably. Um, okay, show me a picture of your asshole, baby. I want to lick some candy out of there. Yeah. And there's. <laughs> You know, him spread eagle with his ass out for the world to see. Mmm. And then your turn. Let me see the sexy asshole I'll be pounding the shit out of. Uh, tongues your ass looking for the Snickers. Mmm. Oh, my God. More like a milk dud. Yeah, it's pretty graphic. Oh, my God, Marty. Like, I don't know, man. Yeah. What an event, man. This day has wore me the fuck out, man. I'm telling you. It's been, a, it's been an interesting one. It's, it's been an interesting one. Yeah, how does this shit even come about? Like, it's just a simple ass Wednesday. Nothing's supposed to but happen. Funny how, Tyler and Y hacked into <laughs> Chance's DMs. Oh my god, man! Yeah. Um, well, I mean, I get it. I get. I mean, I get it. But I'm. It's a basic ass Wednesday. Next thing I know, I'm getting asshole pics and Snickers eating out of asses and fucking trannies on your fucking stream talking about peddling their ass on six months. It's just crazy ass day, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's 2021, Schmeckle. And I tell him I'm from fucking Akron, Ohio. He's like, hey, are you going to talk about being from Michigan? You don't even know it. I'm like, I, he really thought I was from Akron, Ohio. He didn't know even what that address was. It's very, dude, I mean, these people don't do their research, man. I'll tell you this. I, I mean, I, I'm praying that he's trolling because if not, he's just a oh, so, man. I truly do, too. I really do, too. But, but he, he tries to convince us that he's flying to China to teach students yeah. English, when he can't even speak it himself. Can't speak proper English. I mean, you know, I, I, I'm going to really have to, you know, I don't know. I didn't, I don't know this guy, but you said he trolled the Zoloft guy or whoever the fuck he yeah. is. So I'm going to hopefully just go with that because if this guy's serious, he's just a fucking moron, man. I'm sorry, but he is. <laughs> yeah, he used to be a kingpin, marijuana kingpin. He used to be a big rapper by the name of Rick Robinson. And uh, he shaved his ass and yeah. Since the video came out, never even heard of one, man. He's educated, bro. Exactly, Ken. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, 
I'll tip my cap to him, but but mm-hmm. I'll give him a chance to return. He's just got to do a little bit of research, you know, because he doesn't know shit about him at this point. Um, yeah, you're, you're welcome. Uh, it's no problem. Um, I have to hope you're right on that one, Marty. I really do hope it's a troll because if if <laughs> this guy is serious, man, I don't I don't really know. Like I said, I, I just wish he never even said he was from here. It, like, kind of puts a bad taste in my mouth now. I really yeah, hope then again, you got like Big Will, you know. <laughs> and, you know, I did, I would take Big Will over this guy. I'm sorry, but I would. I'd rather hang out with Big Will than Stanley at this point. I, I would. I'd drink beers with Big Will and hang out with him. I I agree with you. But uh, it is <laughs> Jesus, man. Like I said, I'm just chilling. Next thing I know, I got asshole. Like I'm. <laughs> oh man, you just <laughs> yeah, what a day, man. It's been a long one, boy. Eating the long. Snickers out of the ass, you know. <laughs> And, and like shit all over his deck. You yeah, know? yeah. Let me yeah. show that one too. Yeah. Well, I mean, loves the bathroom play. He loves the. He's just into some weird shit, man. I don't know. Okay, here's the other one here. Um, uh, just disturbing. Puts my thing in your ass and takes your dick in my throat. Mm, face yeah. box. Mm. Mm. Makes you gag a bit. Uh. Mm, gets up and sticks my cock deep, cap on your asshole. Oh my God, dude. I've seen the jack off video, unfortunately, and that's what I just pictured him doing while he's sending these these messages. He, uh, well, yeah. Uh, here's the thing. Uh, he he actually blocked. What's her name? Uh, Martina. Uh, <laughs> he blocks her every time after a conversation, and then when he starts to get horny again, he wants to fucking stink his dick. <laughs> he fucking unblocks her again. You know, it's it's so no, weird. Just use oh my it. God. And, and it seems like Martina has deep feelings for Cyrex, <laughs> and he's just using her as a sex object. I'm completely super, super off topic, Marty, but uh, and I, I, I'd wish that you would get try and get into contact with the doctor um, through maybe within the next 24 hour period, see what he's been up to, how he's doing. Um, oh, oh, you got it, you got it. You been, a, really been a while. Yeah, well, he's got an update on his stimulus check. Um, Did he? He says that it's been worked out, and it was just an email uh, <laughs> mishap. But you know, I don't know. Here, I'm going to post the thing in the in the for, for Barney here, um, and, and I'm going to refresh post the asshole picture so they're at the bottom. Of the <laughs> yeah. Show. Oh yeah. Um, I also have a great idea for the album cover as well. So it's been nice up here, Marty. Thank you for coming up here, Schmeichel. Thank you for uh, dominating that fucking. Oh yeah. Fuck. Thank you. I'm a- I mean, if I already figured out his name, that's how much of a prick he is. I just yeah. want to get him out of my head. Yeah. But yeah, Snackle, sure. Mario, it's nice being up here. I need to go do my research. Um, yep. Hey, today we have the album cool. tomorrow. For, for sure, for sure. Um, yeah. Looking yeah, I didn't, to I, didn't, Looking. I didn't say, can you send it to me? I didn't save it because I can't from uh, StreamYards. Um, if you could DM that to me, it'd be great. Um, and let, yeah, let me post these uh, Cyrex anus shots um there's one and here's just one of him lying with his penis out um <laughs> so you guys can can enjoy that have fun good wallpaper for your computer uh, yeah okay uh here you go there you go barney um don't don't do anything untoward with that um yeah use your best judgment there you go um. Yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> just, just another fucking day, I guess. Just another day in paradise. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Tomorrow will be interesting. I'm gonna definitely try and keep my uh, eye on uh, his channel and see what he's got going on. Um. See where the war is. The war truly ended, or was it just a, uh, you know, was this just a ploy, a Trojan horse to get into Marty's world? Yeah, he never. He didn't explain if that was or wasn't his ass. I've heard that he has been claiming that privately, but there's only one way to find out. You know, and until he does that, I don't think I'm going to believe him. Just to be fair. Um, I mean, I've never seen the guy's ass, but I mean, the body type and everything looks legit. He's got the wristband on and all that, so. I mean, I think yeah. he does. I didn't look at the picture of two in death here. Let me scroll uh, scroll up a little bit. But, yeah, I want to say he has one of the wristbands on as well. Um, he's got oh, his ring on. What the fuck, he's got dude? His ring. 
Yeah. There. Yep. 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 Yes, he does. You're right. Yeah. See, like, because <laughs> I didn't study it too hard. Uh, man. God damn it, dude. I, I really just need to just leave that uh, up there where it needs to be. I don't really, I don't really need to be getting into that this late at night. It just makes me angrier and angrier with GoFundMe. Oh man, I, you know what, Marty? I, I I I wouldn't even worry about it if you really want to get into it. Maybe just start a Kickstarter or something. I know that site's pretty good. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm maybe, gonna start a Kickstarter for a, a civil litigation team to sue GoFundMe. And maybe we could just get you guys a hotel room with a bunch of sand in it. It could be like an island, like a blow. We'll get no, a blow it, blow. It, there's got to be there's got to be no existing like uh, international waters. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, fair enough. I want to be the, as you like to say, the head of the dinner table. For sure, for sure. Would you maybe consider a cruise that goes out that far and just be on a boat? Or I would it... consider a cruise as long as I was the captain of the ship. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that's pretty much that. Yeah, uh, you, you know, guys, come on, you guys, we're getting these fourteen hundred dollars coming up here. If any, if every, all, everyone could just give like a little piece of that out, I mean, it's free money anyway. Let's make this happen. Um, sure, we could get some kind of recording equipment, if not a live stream, then at least a video of it or something. You know, I mean, so it's not like you guys would be just giving away your money. We, I'm sure it'd be documented somehow. Um, some parts may not be, but others would. I'm sure. Um, you know what? I'm gonna do it. I'm going to do this right now. Ace Bass, you don't have $10,000. Guess what? You're timed out. GG Allen, you oh, don't no. have five, five grand in your pocket. Guess what? No. Get lost, buddy. No. Tyler and Y, you're gone. You're no. Gone. Come out of those pockets. You guys, come on, man. Casey Young, where's your 10000 See you later. Angels Asylum, see you <laughs> later. Stu, where's my 10000 no. See you later. You're all Classic Games Canada. No. I hate to do it. But I know you've got the money lying around. He's gonna, need, he's gonna need about fifteen k because it's Canadian money. So yeah, you're gonna, you're gonna need about fifteen k Canadian. Yeah. So I, I'm ending the stream because nobody could come up with five thousand dollars and you know try to type, try to type without paying. See what happens to you, Schmeckle Cat. Um, you haven't paid me ten thousand dollars. Get lost. Get lost. Get lost. Barney Rubble. Timed out. Cozy Night Lord, timed out. Robert California, timed out. Take five minutes to find your wallet, buddy. Andrew C, you're gone too. Wicked Moon, timed out. Where's your wallet? Where's your wallet? Timed out. Timed out. You too. Find your wallet, Buster. Bye bye. Find your wallet, asshole. You're gone. Gone. Find your wallet. Find your wallet, buddy. So long, Mr. Fella.
You can get it too, Puppy Woo Woo. Cheapskates. $10,000 or you're timed out until tomorrow. thousand dollars guys so yeah folks nice little musical ditty. seeing cyrax's pictures have sent me into a fervor and i'm getting desperate for my little island life so you know you guys might want to head to the bank tomorrow uh, take out a loan if you don't have the scratch handy but something's got to give here guys andrew c i'm gonna i'm not gonna time you out for that that's fair so Thank you, everybody. You have a good night, and uh, hopefully tomorrow this GoFundMe will be fully met. Have a good evening.